Walker and Gnome Power, how are you guys doing today? So we got a wave from Hunter and hi guys from Gnome Power and good video update this morning. I take it that was somewhere in the abyss that is the SnowRunner Discord. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to make one tonight on the basically the same information but for SnowRunner related stuff. I took a bunch of screenshots from uh, the SnowRunner Discord. Most It's kind of funny because they, they have like a, a separate Discord server within the SnowRunner Discord, but it's, it's a totally different game, so it seems like it should have its own... I don't know. Anyways. So... I was looking at the upgrades, and most of them I don't have are in these three maps. I think we got all of them in Grand Canyon. I think we'll go here with Coco Nino. Living off the grid, what does this give us? Nothing exactly. Um, so it's very hard. Need more spare parts. Okay, well, we'll just throw on four vehicles and get going, I guess. So, I think... Um, one of the upgrades we got yesterday only said the Yar, but I think it might have actually been for the Lodestar as uh, an upgrade. See what else should we do? The Acteon, maybe? I'd like to get the roof rack for this. I still don't know where that's at. Alright, let's throw on a Jaeger. So this dude. Uh, hydrologist and the operator, just because it makes it so much easier. Is this a two vehicle one? Oh no, a metal detector. Okay, let's throw it on. It's got to be the vehicle that I'm driving, right? Or we're going to drive a bit. Actually, let's... Let's put it on a smaller vehicle. Maybe the... Hmm... Oh, here we go. Tatra 805. It can have the roof rack and that on top. Alright, let's check the Lodestar. Was it... Suspension... No, it was the rock crawler kit. Nice. All right, and now we can get better ti bigger tires, I believe, right? Ooh, wow, this has TMHS tires. That is interesting. Look at how much more wide that is. That's awesome. Got to try that out. And we still don't have the, the uh, off-road gearbox. Don't know where that's at. Did I take off some of my stuff on here? Why is everything, say, purchased but not equipped? It's weird. So we're going to roll with this. Oh, wait, no, we don't need it. We have the, uh, the 805 with it. All right, so let's uh, fill the slots here. Let's do fuel for a bunch of these. Then we'll go spare parts, spare parts, spare parts, just to have some. Well, that's weird. These spare parts are 75 each compared to the normal 50. Didn't even notice that. Whereas spare parts here would be 50. Fuel is 15. Fuel is 45 in the bed. Wow. That's interesting. So here we got the, uh, hello South Fang, welcome back to the stream. Yeah, here we got the rock crawler kit. 
That was weird. It was it showed up as locked and then disappeared. So we can't have the bigger tires, but all right. Slots are all filled. Just got to throw in jack screws and some other stuff. And we'll do it on this one. So we'll, we'll spend a lot of money on this one. Spend 8500 plus the 4200 prepayment. And if I recall correct, we don't really have many upgrades for this. We could put off-road gearbox, I guess. Get a bigger engine. Oh, we do have the rock crawler kit. Nice. So can we get bigger tires? We can get 39s. Guess we'll do that. Okay, got everything here. Roof. Stock bumper. Alright, yeah, we're good. Let's put a little bit of fuel on here. Oh, wait, no, we don't need any spare parts on this one. We have the uh, add on. This can all be fuel. There we go. Um, yours is challenging. Yeah, it is pretty tough. Alright, I think we're good to go now. I'm trying to... Okay, yeah, the Tatra is down here. Right? Yeah, okay. Should be good to go, I'm pretty sure. So we gotta go... Does it not mark any of the spots on this one? Interesting. All right. Just spent two and a half hours finishing the last last task on Erska. Looks like there's a spot for a camera trap here. I don't know. Like th these must be missions that I selected and then like later on found out like oh hey there's a seismic vibration point here or something like. I don't know what this is either. Like something I got a visitors? I don't really know. Okay, anyways, where is the orange spot here? Oh wow, way over there. Okay. I call that on the tires. That one part was like uh, in the in the mud, sort of back there. Uh, no, we're not in free roam. We're we're in a we're doing a expedition, but we're we're probably going to do is just do the expedition and then do some random stuff on top of that. I really want to check out that Lodestar now. I didn't know it can have it can have the big balloon tires from the Taiga or Taiga. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of trying to do... I mean, I'd like to just upgrade Hunt, but to be honest, it's, it seems like it's not... It's not the best of ideas, just because, like, if you're going all the way out there for an upgrade, you might as well do a task or a contract or an expedition that, you know, gets you moving around anyways. Can I just make better use of the time? Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just what it seems like. When I when I just go for the upgrades, like uh, it's helpful, but oh, actually, there's an upgrade right behind our base over here. I think maybe I did get that one. I must have. But there's another one actually on this island. I gotta go get. So let me switch to the. Uh... Sounds logical. Let me switch to the other truck here. Was it Warthog? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Zing, for the uh, comment about the the video from this morning. Hopefully, that was uh, of some use. Had some uh, expeditions information, I guess. Oh, 
Also, I saw Zing, uh, you streamed the other day. I don't think you're here right now, but... If you watch it later or something. I saw you stream the other day, I didn't even notice you were streaming, so... I missed your entire stream. Usually try to stop in and say hi or something for a little bit. Probably should have gone around. I was going to check what percentage I am total. I don't remember. Or I didn't remember to do it, I should say. I feel like that would have been nice to know. I think last time we were at like 30... What was it? 30 something. Wait, isn't there a... S uh, oh, right behind us, right here. And let me clear these points right here. We gotta do something. The yeah, out check the water depth or something, I don't know. Let's see if we can just do that and if it works. Oh now it's over here. Maybe maybe it just wasn't zoomed in enough. Check the water depth from here. Now it's gone, right? Oh no, it's still there. Maybe you gotta track a certain thing. Let's see. Can't track that one. Oh, I could do that one. It's hydro monitor watering systems. Can't see the thing correct. Scan the pond. Is that where we're at? I don't think so. Oh, it's Grand Canyon. Yeah, definitely not. Let me... I'm just trying to find out because we're already here. Range finders, equipment... That's Sonoran Desert. So is that. Actually, I think all these are pretty much. Okay, Wawi Bay. And this one, we gotta take some photos. Okay, so that's the first one of Wawi, or uh, first one here. 19,000 for that one. Can't do that, can't do that. Is that the one? Seismic. Well, wait, the thing is gone now. Oh, maybe because I'm just... I don't know, you know what, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Let me stop tracking that one. Yeah, there's a vibration, or a point right there to get. There's one right next to us, but whatever. We'll leave it for now. It's close to the base anyways. Um... Okay, I got... Or if I was ever streaming, I would be so bad. I would forget to read the chat all the time. Usually when that happens is when I'm, like, very busy with something. So normally it's, like... Normally bad situations, right? Like, the vehicle's about to tip, and then, like... You're trying to look to the side and winch to this thing, and... You gotta change your winch points, and, like... It's when you're constantly busy, basically. If you're just, you know, driving, driving around, like, right now, like, I can kind of see, okay, I gotta go to the left but it's kind of open, there's not, you know, we're not like climbing a hill or anything real dangerous right now. New objective, huh? Um, so yeah, it's, it's not, oh, that's funny, bad viewpoint, okay, fair enough, don't have to do that one, I guess. Um, but yeah, if, if you get like stuck or something and you're trying to attach to a bunch of trees or something like that, that's when you kind of fall behind in the chat and you're, you're just trying to focus on getting out, sort of, which, because otherwise you're going to, you're going to, you know, sit like this and then look over and read the chat because you can't really, you can't just go, you're stuck. 
So that's when you kind of uh, fall, or at least I fall behind when I'm trying to figure out a way to get out of stuff. Okay, I'm back. I pulled in to look at an issue. How goes the grind? Pretty good, uh, Zing. I was talking to you, but I guess you weren't here earlier, so... I said... I saw that you'd streamed the other day, but I didn't notice you were streaming at the time. And I haven't checked it out, but normally I pop in to say hello, so sorry I didn't stop over the other day. Um, hi JJ, how are you? Hope you're good. I am doing well, thank you, Hunter. There's an upgrade around here somewhere. I don't, oh, it's up there, I can see the box. How the heck do I get up there? Is there like a path up the other side? Also pop three more tires in Scandinavia, ouch. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting way to get up, then, isn't it? Um, I just get too focused on the game and forget to look. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it looks like there's a little path here. I came up the wrong way, that's all. I thought we just had to use, uh, the anchor point to get up there. You're trying to finish Scandinavia? Okay, how's that going for you, Hunter? Uh, Zing is also working on it. Upgrade discovered. Ooh, emergency reserves large. This is for... Oh, the Warthog. Nice. Available for the current truck. I'll take it. It's pretty rare to find an upgrade for the actual truck you're using. Okay, I think we'll leave this here. We'll continue on with the yar here. So yeah, I think I checked all the upgrades that I didn't have uh, versus the snow render yesterday uh, as far as the maps go, or at least I, I, I mean some of them I can't exactly remember if I got or not because this game you have to get like really close to them to get them so even if you, like, look around with binoculars, it doesn't mark them sometimes. Oh, shoot, I did this last time. The south side of this river isn't very helpful. <laughs> or I should say the downstream side. Seems to, uh, catch me before. Um, but yeah, I think I had, like... I think I have three in total that I don't have in the uh, Carpathian. So I pretty much have all the upgrades there. It's basically just Arizona that I gotta get un upgrades. And I have like, I'm missing three I think on this map. Well now I think it's two. I'm missing like five on Sonora or Waweep and I think I'm missing three on the other. So like most of the ones that we're missing are in, the, in these three maps here. Grand Canyon, I think we have them all. So I'm pretty sure, or wait, uh, for me, I hate snow maps. I prefer dry maps, but you're doing well. Okay. Um, so like I said, I, I made a video this morning about expeditions news for anybody who hasn't seen that and is into expeditions, but uh, I'll probably make one tonight that'll come out tomorrow. Will be snow runner related stuff that has kind of happened over the last little bit and I haven't covered. Ooh, the reusable one, nice. This is the first time I've actually picked it up. Um, but yeah, there is going to be a full snow map in year four, so that's, that's good. I mean, I'm assuming it's the one that they showed with a bunch of snow, but I could be wrong. I think that was season 15. It's either 13 or 15, um, but I guess we'll find out real soon, because another one of the news is that they're hoping to have PTS season 13 out by the end of the month, which is like, you know, two weeks away, basically. And the uh, Atom truck will be coming out in early April, so kind of include all that in the video for tomorrow, probably for SnowRunner. Just some news that has come out that I haven't um, haven't covered. That's a nice little hole. Haven't covered yet on the channel, so I figured I'd make a video about it. 
Those things are free money, 5k. Nice. I suppose it... Yeah, because you, you can keep reusing it over and over, so... Like, you're gonna have it at the end. Yes, for snow maps, it's called SnowRunner. Yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. I, uh... I did say the other day, like, it'd be funny if... On Expeditions, they came out with more snow maps than SnowRunner. <laughs> Although, I, I don't think that'll happen. And actually, if you guys watched the video again this morning... I'm not trying to keep the plug in the, the channel, but... <coughs> Uh, one of the things on there was somebody asked Esarokin if uh, if we would get any snow maps and expeditions, and he said for sure not in year one. So all of those maps are probably are oh god that scared me for a second already like you know mostly done or like at least decided on what they're gonna do kind of stuff. All right, let's uh, actually let's use this reusable one. I've never never used one of these before. So how do I pick this thing back up? Let's see. Zing, how do you pick this thing up? Is there a certain certain something you gotta do? Or just drive away and it becomes yours again? No, it just disappeared. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there it is. Oops. Oh, hold- you, you attach to it and hold B. Okay. It said, uh... Here, actually, I'll put it back out because I don't remember what exactly it said. So you attach to it, and then it says, Release winch B or hold it to pick up the anchor. Yeah, attach to it and hold B. At least on Xbox. Hold B, there you go, okay. Yeah, I think I, I noticed it right before you mentioned it. Oh, here we go, got another, uh... Another airdrop here. So those things are free money, gonna load up all the base additions... ...and do the next map. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I finished, finished every task. Contract and expedition in Grand Canyon yesterday need to move to the other map. I saw that. That looks really good. You got everything basically done. More jack screws, dang. We are loaded with jack screws now. Actually, we probably have way too many jack screws to be honest. Because each one of them is doubled, because we have the we have we have to have the guy for this uh, expedition. So it's, uh, we have 12 jack screws. But I might get the, I might get to use the Atom in a mirror since it's taking me forever to finish it. Yeah, it says early April, so I would say early April would, would probably mean the first week, but for sure the first two weeks, that, that'd be the first half, you know. So I would consider that anywhere in there really kind of early April. Um... Snow is good for everyone. You actually really like the Expedition game. I, I'm having fun with it as well. Oh, great. Oh. Well, okay, we gotta... This is a bummer. We have to use up all of these attachment points here. But I guess it's fine because we have a reusable one. So we can just take the one that we use back and have that infinite amount of times. There we go. Alright, now we need to find a tree where the amulet was made. Which they're way down here. Or there's three of them actually. Oh wait, that, that tree just had an icon on it. That must be that must that must have been what it was. No, actually, I was I was about to switch vehicles, but I'm like, you know what? It's gonna make me drive there to deliver this anyways, so I guess I'll just drive back. But I was going to switch to make it faster. Um, now you're playing Dragon's Dogma. Nice. But yeah, Zing, I, I got the uh, the rock crawler for the rock crawler kit for the uh, Lodestar now, 
And so I have a, I finally have my first upgraded suspension for it because we didn't have it forever. And you can actually put the uh, the balloon tires from the Taiga on there. Did you know that? I didn't know that. But that's pretty, it looks pretty cool. I'll show you here in a bit. I'll try to get to this one point to deliver it. It looks like it's at that tree maybe. And if it's further south, then I'll switch vehicles and show you after that. Is it decent? I haven't even drove it. Uh, I, I unlocked it yesterday at the end of the stream and I actually didn't even notice it because when I picked it up it only said the Yar but when I was looking at the upgrades after the fact uh, on the snow render it said it was for the Yar, for the Lodestar, Lodestar SE and I think it was for one more as well and so I was like oh really let me I'll have to check that you know and then I checked it and it, yeah it's for both the Yar and the Lodestar and Lodestar SE and I think there was one more truck but I can't remember what the last one was I'd have to check again but I was like oh that's cool so yeah I put it on and I guess we do have the tires unlocked for the uh oh nice let me um we do have the tires for the Lodestar so we were able to equip those right away I haven't even uh actually like switched to the truck yet and looked at it but we do have it here on this map but it looks pretty cool with uh because the tires are wider as well oh my goodness we're about to tip again Oof. but yeah it's wider so it's a little bit more stable I, I i got a bigger engine rock crawler kit and big tires now so i think it's going to be a lot better not quite fully upgraded. I think we're still missing like a snorkel and some other things. I think we're missing the gearbox maybe. But it's getting pretty close. So you've been using the 37 OS3s. Off-road tires on the low with the best engine in Arizona and now it's officially a beast. Okay, that's good to know because I used it yesterday and it was uh, pretty underwhelming. I know you had said that in the Discord. Hey bud, just came back from skiing. Nice spoon. Seems like you're always skiing. I know you work at a, a ski resort or whatever, so makes sense. How is it going, spoon? Welcome to the stream. Um, s sorry, someone else just said something, but as soon as I looked up after uh, reading the spoon's comments, it was gone. So I don't, didn't get a chance to see the name or what they said. But yeah, Spoon, we will be playing SnowRunner again on Monday. We'll go back to that. We'll probably just switch off like every other day. I was hoping to kind of get more of this done. Um, because Season uh, 13 will be out pretty soon on PTS. And then this will probably have an update, you know, within a couple months with uh, the next DLC. So I'd like to get far if I could. Preferably beat the game before the DLC comes out because then I could have all of the trucks and all of the upgrades That would be best case scenario And I, I mean I, I could play it offline, but I kind of just like if I'm gonna be playing it I'd probably just stream it, you know Now we should be sort of back to camp. Hello Bryce, how are you doing today? I am doing well, thanks for asking. But it also sounds like for expeditions they're going to be coming out with around the same amount of vehicles as SnowRunner DLCs for uh, like seasons wise so you can probably get two to maybe three vehicles per season they also said oh my god more jack screws finding jack screws left and right on this map 
they, they said that there will be some free DLCs from SnowRunner, so like, the Scout 800 was asked about specifically, I know you saw that Zing, um, and they said that it was, there, there would be some SnowRunner vehicles that would be free DLC coming to Expeditions, and then somebody else had mentioned like, oh, so all of the, the, the new vehicles that are coming to Expeditions are going to be, whoops, I don't even care because we have so many of these darn jack screws. Um, yeah, they, they were like, oh, so all the new vehicles that are coming are going to be SnowRunner ports, basically. And they said, no, they they will have some SnowRunner vehicles that will be, like, free DLC. But all the DLC from, like, the actual seasons is going to be new trucks. So that's going to be kind of cool. And SnowRunner will have their own new trucks as well. So they won't, they won't really have any cross trucks after the free DLC, it sounds like. You'll be right back, South Thing. Sounds good. And you're good. Thanks for asking. You're welcome, Bryce. Oh, shoot. Not again. Eh. Oh, I can't even use the jackster because it's not completely flipped. Nice. I think that's the first time I've ever flipped over on a bridge before. That was, uh... Terrible driving on my part. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen the sort of news video I made for Expeditions and you're interested in it, you can check that out. Hello, Mateo. Hello, chat. <laughs> oh, no. It's good, Bryce. We... Honestly, this is like the, the most well-equipped I've ever been. We found like eight jack screws. You still can't convince yourself to buy the game lessons? It's understandable. It's not for everybody. Like I said, I, I kind of went into it with pretty low expectations, I'm being, if I'm being honest. And, uh, yeah, I'm having fun with it, so. I, I would, I know people have asked me before, like, which one do I prefer? I do prefer SnowRunner. I would rather be delivering cargo than just driving around, but it is kind of fun just, just to, like, rock crawl, I guess. And I know we're not really rock crawling right now, but, oh, shoot, I missed my, my opportunity to go up there, didn't I? That's a yikes. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll go forward to this lost cargo contract right up here. Oh, there's another airdrop here, too. Would you look at that? Or wait, why is... I think this is, uh... This is an airdrop that I haven't unlocked yet, it looks like. I must have to do a task or contract to get that one. Wait, no. That is the lost cargo. I must have to turn on that mission or something. The new video is good. You liked it, Mateo? I mean, if you look at the dates on all that, I think the, the latest one was like the... Was it like the 12th or something? Maybe 7th? I don't remember when it was, but... Yeah, a lot of that information was like when Expeditions first came out, so like two weeks ago, and then all the way up to, like, last week or so. So it's it's probably not new to some people, but probably for most, because I don't think most people probably follow the SnowRunner or uh, Expeditions Discord stuff. So I think for most people that was probably good information. But that's why I kind of, at, at the top of the video, I kind of prefaced it with saying, like, it's been out for a while, so, you know, maybe quite a few people know about it, but just, uh, gonna say it anyways to the people who haven't heard about it. Alright, we gotta go more to the right here. Oh no. God, push all the wrong buttons, guys. Devices, winch. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to be doing another one, Mateo, for uh, SnowRunner stuff, but it's it's kind of the same thing. It's It's been out for like a week or two, just stuff that was said during that time period, but I haven't made a video about it in a while, so I figured I would probably cover the rest of the stuff that I kind of, I, I basically split it up, because he was replying to a lot of different people about both games, and so I split it up into two different videos, or I 
Well, I haven't recorded the other one, but I have the screenshots because I just took them all at once. Xbox Series X version? Um, no, I'm playing on PC, actually. I'm on PC, but using an Xbox controller. Alright, I think we are basically up. Let's get about the house. your bud JJ handling today. I'm doing good. Thank you. Doing good, Mateo. There we go. Um, just wait till you get back to SnowRunner, I'm telling you, you're gonna hate the controls even more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been playing this now for basically two weeks straight. Uh, let's put out the anchor. I want to go to the left a little bit. Oh wow. It's not grabbing at all. Let's try the tires. I think it's just, we're like high centered right on the middle of these rocks and so neither way is really great. Let's try and maybe put it further in the center. There we go. Because before it was just kind of pulling us one way or the other. Wait, did I, I did not grab it. There we go. Inflate the tires. Um, Oh, looking forward to it, JJ. I'm dying to know more of Year 4. Yeah, so there was... I mean, I'll tell you now. I'm going to make a video on it uh, for tomorrow. At least I assume it'll be out tomorrow. I don't... I'm pretty sure there's less information in there than there was for the Expeditions one, because, you know, there's lots of questions when that came out. Bad viewpoint. You should try to find a better one. That's kind of a funny way to say it. Um, but yeah, they said there's going to be one full snow region... The PC version has had a patch, yes. It's the uh, the PS4, or excuse me, the PlayStation and Xbox, the PS4 and PS5. Oh, well, that's it? Okay. 40,000 for that. Jeez, these ones start to pay really well towards the end. Okay, we'll continue. We have a lot of jack screws. Okay. Um, we were going to switch to the Lodestar here to take our first look at this with the new tires and suspension and stuff? Dang. Tega tires on here. Gotta say, it looks pretty cool. Ooh. Exterior stickers. I mean, sure. Let's follow it for now, I guess. Repair points, 200. And that's got to go to here. Okay, well, we'll probably take a different truck to do that. Uh, yeah, they said there's going to be an all-snow map. Oh, shooting, shooting wild. What is this? Oh, Grand Canyon. Okay. Sorry, guys. I wish, I wish you could, like, sort these tasks by which ones are on the map. It seems like they're all at the bottom. That's Wawit Bay. Okay, here we go. Explore this mine. I think I'll I think I'll skip that one. Let's try and find. Okay, that's why we bay. Here we go. This is. These are the first few ones we got here. Okay, we got to go here. And here. And here, we can do that for sure. Skip some time. Um, yeah, they said there's going to be one all snow map in C uh, year four, or at least one. I don't remember exactly the uh, the framing. Maybe it was at least one, but let's deliver that. They can do anything. The Lodestar modded is pretty nice. Jeez, this bridge is at a weird angle. I mean, you got to get across somehow, but. Seems like a pretty tough, tough ask. Oh boy. Oh, 
Oh man. Wow. Probably not crossing that again. Jeez. But yeah, the Lodestar in here has al always on all-wheel drive and diff lock, so now once you get the bigger tires and the rock crawler suspension, that should make it a pretty good truck, I think. Welcome, Zeb. Um, I wonder if there will be a patch on Xbox Series X this week. You can no longer see the problems and textures in the terrain. Yeah, they, they said they were going to have an update for the systems, Xbox and PlayStation, sometime this week. Last I heard, they hadn't had the update. That was yesterday, so maybe... I don't know if you can confirm if they have or haven't had an update, but... Um, if they didn't have it, it should be out sometime today or maybe tomorrow, but they said sometime this week, so... Any day now. <laughs> the Lodestar across the bridge gave me Tokyo Drift Fives. Yeah, we were, we were drifting there for sure. That was not how I would like to normally cross that bridge, I can tell you that. That's why I said before I even started crossing it, I was like, this is a weird angle. This is not, not going to go well. Uh, oh, by the way, you can swap items between trucks and airdrops without having to spend anchors, for example. But that's only if you have an open slot, right? If you're full, I don't think you can swap them. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I think you need to have at least one open spot. Oh, geez, that is a big gap. Yeah, it's kind of funny because the, uh, we have it set to, like, the middle of the day, which is supposed to be, like, really bright right here. But we're, we're kind of covered by the, uh, mountains. Jeez, this hole is, like, super deep, too. There we go. But, yeah, we're kind of covered by the mountains, so it doesn't look that bright, but if we, like, look over there, it definitely is. No, if you're full as well, double-click the item you want to air put in the airdrop. Oh, really? Well, thank you for that information. I did not know that. Trade. Pick that up. The engine sounds on this truck are very nice. I think it's the same from SnowRunner, but I could be wrong. More than likely, they they, they uh, reused it. I know a lot of people didn't like that they reused so many trucks from SnowRunner. It's kind of cool to have the same you know same vehicles, but at the same time, it's like if you're buying a whole new game, you'd want to you'd want to have more than just like three new vehicles. So they have the Pug, the AFIM truck, and then the Kotko Canyon truck. So there's there's basically just three new vehicles. All the rest are from SnowRunner. Alright, I think we'll just stay down here, maybe? I don't know, this this looks decent going over here, I guess. Hang on a second. Alright. The game is growing on you. Uh, true? Yeah. Uh, we're in a pretty bad spot here. There we go. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm having fun with it. I'm, I'm, I can see how people would get bored with it pretty easily. Like, it's just a lot of point A to point B, but it's, it is kind of nice to actually have a use for scouts and, like, actually have them be pretty good and, like, better than the big trucks. I think that's what I like about it is the, uh... I, well, obviously, the, the trucks... I know pretty much everybody has said that the trucks just feel slower and, like, more grounded and just better to drive. That's really nice. I think the, uh... If they brought that to SnowRunner, which they probably can't, uh, that would be cool. You think owning trucks from SnowRunner is a paradox? Fan would be mad if they weren't there. Sorry. And um, 
And annoyed if they are. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. I think... Personally, I think it, it would have... It should have been flip-flopped, is what I guess I would say, Mateo. I think if they had three SnowRunner trucks and then a bunch of new ones, they would have got a lot less backlash. People would probably still complain, even if there's three of them. Because they're like, oh, you guys are just reusing stuff, blah, blah, blah. But it's kind of cool to have trucks that are across games. You know, there's some trucks that are in Mud Runner, or maybe even Spin Tires. I've never played the Spin Tires game. But there's trucks that are in those games that are, you know, like the Taiga 6455B. I know is that that one's in, uh... That one is in... And I think the Con Marshall might even be. But uh, you got some trucks that are in Mud Runner that made it to Snow Runner. And then, yeah, now you got some from SnowRunner that made it here. Although, uh, this one, like I said, I think it's just too many. That, I think that's the issue for most people. If you would have had it, if you would have had three SnowRunner vehicles and like 11 new vehicles, I think people would be happy with that. They probably would have had a little better reviews, but I mean, overall, it's, it's the gameplay mechanics and the bugs and stuff that most people don't like. Um. At least you're not running the same cargo from point A to point B, especially logs. Believe it or not, I actually like logging. I don't know why, but I, I actually like logging. But I can see, you know, that this this game isn't for the for the exact same people as SnowRunner. Like, there, there will be some crossover, obviously, but... Um, there's people who like to deliver in SnowRunner, and there's people who don't. People, some people just like to scout and find stuff and do sort of the tasks and contracts, kind of the smaller missions, maybe drive around with one or two cargo, not not doing like like Yukon stuff where you have to deliver like 64 cargo slots, you know. Um, let's see, I think it's great they reuse trucks, even better they improve on them. Um as the engine improves, but definitely agree with the newer ones. Yeah, I think... Honestly, I think it was just a balance issue. If they had incre included more new trucks, less reused ones, I think they would have it would have been received better. But I could be I could be totally wrong on that. I just think if you're buying a new game, you want more new stuff. They 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 reused more old stuff than they than they did new stuff as far as the vehicles go. So, could just be my opinion on that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like if they had at least done, I would say probably more than 60%, probably, if they would have done like 75% new trucks, so maybe they could have done like five, maybe six at the most, probably SnowRunner trucks, and then had all the rest be uh, new trucks, I think they would have been, they, it would have been a lot better received. I think that, that criticism would have been a lot less. Last message you sent was for logging cranes. Uh, SnowRunner is definitely better than FS2022. I don't know why I always say FS2022. I don't see it 22 for some reason. I've never done the logging in Farming Sim. Um, actually, I, so I started a, a save on the map that has logging. I forget what it's called, like Silver, Silver Run or something, Silver Forest, something like that. And then my recording software cut out like halfway through. And so I have like 30 minutes of a, a started logging save and then I never never went back to it. So I'll probably end up just deleting it and restarting because that was like three months ago now. Um, do you like this part more than the previous one? For me, it's great. There's no cargo transport, only clean exploration of the area. I definitely prefer this style of gameplay. I actually prefer SnowRunner more and I'm gonna, after this week, I'm gonna start switching back and forth between the two. I was hoping to get a lot of this done, just to sort of, uh, because at the end of this month, they're gonna be having, more than likely anyways, they're gonna be having um, Season 13 on public test server. So if you're on PC and you have it on Epic Games, you can start playing Season 13. Wait, what? I forgot to pick up my anchor. My reusable one? Uh-oh. I didn't know that. How many more do I have? Four? Okay. I didn't even know that. I didn't notice I forgot to pick that up. That's not good. 
Okay, deliver the three water samples to here. All right. But yeah, I, I, I prefer the uh, delivery of cargo rather than, than this. But I am having a lot of fun with this, which is why I'm still playing it. If I didn't like it, I would I would have quit it by now. So. But yeah, like, to be honest, I was surprised that I'm having fun with it, because this is not really... Like, in SnowRunner, I don't really enjoy scouting. It's just not fun. There's, there's kind of no reason to do it, really. But this one, the way the game is designed, it's, it's a lot better for the small vehicles. Silver Run Forest is a good map. I've done a lot of logging on that game. Yeah, I I wish I could play for I should play Farm Sim more. I have it. I have a lot of the DLCs, but yeah, I just haven't I the Farming Sim 2020 or like I said, I always say 2022 for some reason. Farm Sim 22 is the first Farm Sim game that I've gotten into. Uh, I bought 19. I played it for like a half hour a couple years ago and was super confused and never touched it again. Uh, but then I had Telemenis, who's another YouTuber, he he asked me if I would get it and we could play together, and I was like, sure. Uh, so we both, well, I think he already had it, I'm not sure. But he hasn't hadn't really played it at that point, so we were both kind of learning and we screwed up a bunch, but it was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it a lot, and now I, like, I wish, and I should, uh, play it more because I'm having fun with it. I enjoy all the farming, the different machinery, the different crops. Like the way they do it is just much better than, like the you know the farming on Snowrunner and stuff. It's just a lot more detailed and sure it's it can you could you could say it's very repetitive in there as well. But building up your own own like empire, I guess you could say, buying land and you can you can control where you where you can plow and stuff to make new fields and all that kind of stuff. Buildings and sort of, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but where you can, like, make certain things, like you can make clothing if you get, sh like, certain animals, or, you know, you can make, like, you know, take the cow's milk and stuff like that, where it's, I forget the exact wording for it, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go down here. Hello, JJ, here's a like for you, keep it up, man. Thank you, Chevy, I appreciate that. Appreciate all the likes. Um, it was nice to talk for a while. Greetings from Poland. Uh, I wish you only beautiful moments. Thank you. Appreciate that as well. 35 watching, 18 likes. Press that like button. It is free. I know I'm missing a few uh, chats in here, so I'm going to try and get them. Silver Run was amazing. You loved it. You had over 200 hours. On Rags to Riches, Logging Empire. I loved it. Nice. That was kind of what I was going to make a series on, but I've never done logging before, so it probably would have been pretty bad and more more comical, I guess, than a normal one. Because, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, so it would have been a lot of mistakes, but hopefully eventually get there kind of thing. I don't know if this is the best spot for it, but why can't I? Okay, I can't put it over there, I guess. I probably shouldn't crawl up this part, but. Um. more. Oh no, we're slipping back. Ah. 
There we go. <coughs> production, there we go. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. The different productions you can do, that's pretty cool. I just noticed there's like a little sort of a traffic cone looking thing up in front of us here. What is that? A light or something? Um, I can answer why it feels that way because I've thought about it and this is... This will make sense hopefully. Uh, if scouts and Sauron are played and felt like scouts and expeditions, you probably would use it more. Probably, yeah. You're right. Well, you're sort of incentivized as well on here to, to use the scouts, just because there's a lot of, like, tip-overs and stuff. On Slurrunner, if you tip over, you can pull out a bunch of vehicles. Um, wait, I gotta back up a little bit, right? Oh, wait, trade. Next action. No. I'm holding trade. There we go, deliver supplies. Reinforced nerf bars. Okay, I'll take it. No idea what truck that's for. Let's try and find another one to do here. Actually, shut this off quick. Um, Caleb Sonic movie, High Edwardsville High versus Baseball Games Home. Opponents with the Ninth Night home call. I am so confused, Caleb. I feel like Farming Simulator 22 has one glaring issue, it's not great without mods. I've only ever played it without mods, and I thought it was fun. But I'm I'm more of a non-mods player for like everything that I play. Why would I trade with that? Let's see. Oh, I already, I already clicked on that one. But yeah, I had fun with it without mods, but I, I, I can see what you're saying, like some of them probably just make it, oh that's why we pay still, probably make it a lot easier or better to play because it makes that game, oh wow, portable media station out there, I think we'll skip that for now, that one we can't track, this one, we could do this, take two photos, sure I guess. It is good, but there is a lot of low-range goods or options. I don't play mods to improve gameplay, but uh, more for realism. Yeah, see, I, I would probably like the realism mods. I'm, I'm more of a, I don't know, just a vanilla player, I guess, overall. Like, I'm trying to think. I don't really know what other games that I play that have mods, but... For the most part, I just play vanilla with every game that I play, I guess. I probably should have just gone to the side, going up, going up this area here, but whatever. Hey, Rex, long time no see. How have you been, Rex? Uh-oh. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing pretty good. I think we are, we're probably around... 38%, 39% maybe, I don't know total completion what we're at, but... Um, the problem without using mods in FS22 scenario playthroughs is starting at zero is nearly impossible with the price of equipment. Is not Nothing is cheap, yeah. I think the main thing is if you're starting out with nothing, you have to do a bunch of contracts. That's what I've noticed, because you can borrow the equipment, and if you're smart, you can borrow it, um, borrow it for the biggest contract that you can, and then use it for two others doing the exact same thing. And you do the two smaller ones first, and then you turn in all three. So you can, you can basically pay to rent one person's equipment, and you can do all three contracts with that. I'm sure there's a lot more other tips that you guys would know, but that's that's one of them that I've found. And, like, I would rather play with, like, no money and build everything up. I just think that's funner than starting with a bunch of money and being able to buy everything. I don't know, like, even in, in like, say, I know this is going to sound way out, way out, like, way out there, but, like, say for, like, Minecraft or something, where you can, where you can have, like, a, a survival edition or a edition, or not edition, but a survival game or a creative game where you have everything. 
I don't really have fun with creative, even though I know you can build like whatever you want because you have all the materials. It just doesn't sound as fun to me. I would rather just earn up all the materials. It makes it makes the base that you make, you know, that much better because you had to go out and work for all that stuff. Hello, Zatanna. How are you doing today? You've been good but busy. Exactly, man. That's what I was struggling to say. Okay. Oop. That tree didn't like us. Um. Oh, we're almost out of fuel. Okay. Hang on a second, did... Did my game sell my jack screws and stuff when I... I think when you complete an expedition, if you continue on, it sells all your stuff. I think that's what happened. Because I only have four jack screws and one anchor left. I know I used the anchors to get up that one slope there, but... I think it sold all... I had like 12, 12 jack screws. I think I only used one. So, yeah, I think it sold all the stuff, even though we, we clicked continue. I think it sold it for us anyways. That's not cool. Okay, take a photo of the mines. Not sure I understand your start from scratch on FS22. I guess you'll have to show us in a stream. Um, I did stream it once before. I think I have a couple of videos on it on the channel, but... Yeah, um, the videos are... Well, some of them are with Telemenis, but others are just myself. The ones with myself, I just tried to earn up money to... Uh, to have a, a good start from scratch, but... I think, so I earned up a bunch of money, and then I found out you can buy, like, what was it, um, solar panels or something? And that just felt like cheating to me. I don't know why. So, like, like I said, I like to play things the hard way for most, most stuff. And, like, having a free income from that just didn't seem right to me. I don't know why. So, I didn't want to continue on playing that save. More stickers. They see me droning. What do we got to do for that? Explore the gorge with a drone, and then we'll go back to this one. This one seems pretty close. Why not? Uh, what's new? Not much, Satana. Just uh, trying to make some progress. We, uh, we got the Lodestar with the... Uh, well, not the Lodestar, we already had that, but... We got the uh, Rock Crawler suspension now, and we got the... Uh, what are they? The TMHS-1s, I think? The tires? So we got the, the Tega tires on the Lodestar, which is pretty interesting. Definitely a weird combination. There's an actual road in here as well. But yeah, maybe that makes more sense, Mateo, now that I kind of explained it, like... I don't know, even... Even, like, having the, uh... The solar panels or whatever, that just, like... I don't know, it doesn't seem right to me to have, like, an easy income like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just different. Alright, let's check it out with the drone. Oh, over to the right. I went left. Nice, got one right away. I did not see where that one came from. Oh, here's one. Also didn't see where that one came from. Oh, it's up, I think. I think I saw it up. Was it up here? I thought I saw it from up somewhere. 
Oh, there we go. Way up there. The mounds of stones are old, and the risks of repeated shedding are minimal, but still, this gorge looks bewitching. That was an easy one. I'll take it. What is back in line? Yeah, we're fairly close to that as well. 200 spare parts. I think we already spent too much to, uh, to do that one. Oh, wait, here. Uh, agreed on finding a hard way to play just makes it more fun. Um, I wonder what hard one expeditions could be. Yeah, we talked about this on stream the other day, and I don't... I don't know how they would really make it harder. I think one of the things that they could do is maybe make the drone drops, like, either random. Like, they, they're... Like, so if you were to look at the map and say, like, okay, this is always a drone drop. And, uh, I don't know where any other ones are. Um... Why, why am I not seeing any of them right now? <laughs> this one. And this one. Like, if you were to look at those and just be like, okay, 50% of those are gone. I think that would make it a lot harder. And you don't know which ones are gone either until you get out there, you know? Or maybe they have, like, 50% less stuff in them. So maybe they still have, you know, normally they have 100 fuel. Maybe they have 50 fuel. Or uh, one jack screw instead of two jack screws, or you know, two anchors or three anchors instead of five, stuff like that. Maybe something like that would, you know, make it harder. Because I feel like making it about money again, it would make it harder, but only the beginning. Like, what do I have right now? Four hundred fifty-eight thousand. I, I still don't have all the vehicles. I keep prefacing that, so I could spend like two hundred thousand on two hundred and twenty probably on vehicles and upgrades, but. Still, that means we have, like, all the vehicles and 230,000 in upgrades. Er, I said that wrong. All the vehicles and 230,000 in cash if we wanted to do more upgrades. So we're, like, we're, we're definitely well set now. No drone drops? Yeah, that would definitely make it harder. Or maybe, like, a, a much decreased range. Because right now, the way they have it, you can drop it off anywhere on the map. Or maybe it uses a bunch more fuel. Or, I guess I just thought of this one. Um, th so the drone drops, we, I found out on stream the other day, you can actually run out of fuel on it. It costs the drone fuel to run out to you. So what if they only had enough fuel to do one drop off compared to like four or something normally, I think. Four or five, something like that. Let's try and deflate the tires. Maybe that'll get us there. Nope, it's too steep. But yeah, if they, if they only were allowed to do, like, one drop with the drone, like, it would still be super helpful. But it would mean that you really have to plan your route out. And especially if they added in, like, 50% less stuff from airdrops, or... If they make it about money, it's going to be super boring as well. I agree, Zing. It can't be about money. It's got to be... It's they got to find a different way to make it harder. Because, uh, yeah, hard mode in SnowRunner isn't really hard anymore. I mean, I have like 1.3 million dollars or something, and I'm only in in uh, a mirror, and I spent my money pretty recklessly as well. Like I've I've tried to be good in certain areas, but also I've been really bad in other areas. The mines. Where are the mines? Let me try and clear this up. There we go. There we go. done. 11,100 for that one. So what is this? Take, oh wow, I should have done that when I was in the town. Take a bunch of photos. I mean, I guess we could go do that one. What's this one? Getting to know the area. Install portable media stations. I don't have any of those. What is this? Early bird. Install camera traps. I could drone those out to us. Media station again. What is this one? New paths. Visit the viewpoint. I think we'll do that. Then there's one over here. I don't remember what that one was, but... 
And actually, we might even run out of fuel. Not sure how much more fuel we have. Wait, what is this one? Getting to know the area. That's the one we're on. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna be pretty close on fuel here, aren't we? <coughs> how much spare parts do we have? 225. Okay, so we do have enough spare parts if we can make it there. Take a photo of the island turned out to be a mountain peak. That took me a while. Okay. Try to remember that. Probably we'll forget it, but... What about... Oh, wait. I did read that. Um, yeah. I don't know. If you guys have any other ideas, I would like to hear them for how to make hard mode harder on here. They said they would have either a new game plus or hard mode. I would... Probably assume both, but... Yeah, I'm just, uh, if you guys have any other ideas, I'd like to hear how you would make it harder. It, I mean, it can be money-related, but I feel like it has to be not money-related to make it more fun. Because money-related only becomes an issue at the start. Because once you get into it, like I am, you have half a million dollars almost, like... I think I can get the AFIM with the loaf. I think so. It's kind of in a, in a tough spot, but once you get it out of that, like, swampy area... I mean, I guess the route is sort of treacherous as well. I would say stick to the high ground. That's what I did, and it was a lot easier. But yeah, there was still... There was one spot that kind of... I kind of got hung up on. Are you playing right now, Zing? Are you, uh... Talking about later, maybe? I know you are quite often... Uh, playing in the background. A lot of people do that. I think you could do it. You said the loaf is, uh... It's pretty good with the top engine. I don't think I have that engine, but yeah, if it's pretty good, I, I would say you could probably do it. You are? Nice. All right, hopefully we don't need any anchor points because we used all those now. Kind of bummed, we had that reusable one. And, uh, when we completed the expedition, I just sold it. Alright, we gotta go up here. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, we have jack screws, so there's, there's that, but that requires us to tip our truck fully over. So if we just get kind of stuck on some rocks, that doesn't help. Sort of like this. Hmm. Try and deflate them all the way, maybe? Oh, maybe. Wow, I'm kind of surprised we got that, to be honest. I think after we, uh, we get this point, we're probably just going to full send it off the cliff, use a, a jack to get right back up, and then go to that other point and drop off the spare parts. Hard mode should have to pay to deploy. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense, but they have a prepayment, so maybe that would just wipe out the, well, I guess, depending on the price, maybe it just knocks the prepayment down, like, 
they would they would still give you a prepayment, but you'd still have to pay to deploy. It just it would like say it was forty two hundred or something. Maybe you have to pay five hundred per vehicle, so it knocks it down to if you if you deployed four vehicles, then you'd be down to what uh, twenty two hundred for the prepayment, or you'd still get forty two hundred prepayment, but you'd have to pay two thousand to deploy if that makes sense, something like that. But yeah, I would I would hope they could find a way to make it a little more difficult with. Uh, Oh boy, this is a multiple uh, stage one. I wish they... For these ones, I wish they showed more locations, because this one looked like it was just a single location, right? Oh, we got an airdrop up here. And actually, I'm going to look around quick with the binoculars, because I haven't explored most of this. We got another one. Let's get it to mark on the map, I suppose. Also get our 200 bucks. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, it like shows one single location on the map, and then you go there, and then it's like, oh wait, you gotta go to this location, and this one, and this one, it's like, what the heck? Why didn't you list that off in the thing? Oh wow, this one's got a lot of stuff. More jack screws. I still have never sold a dinosaur rib, so I think I'll take that just for fun, I guess. Only one specialist per hard mode, perhaps? That could be a good one. Or maybe they maybe they weaken the specialists too. Maybe uh like so so for normal normally your drone can only go 80 meters. Maybe that specialist instead of going 200 meters plus, maybe they cut it in half, maybe it's 100 more or maybe even 50 more or something. You know, make it a little bit more difficult in that regard, so you'd still have to pay like the same same price to get the uh, specialist, but or maybe they even make it higher, I don't know. I mean, I guess they could even make it less. They could make it like, for example, three. you could pay 600 for the drone normally and get 200 meters range. Maybe you only pay 300 and then you get 100 meters or something, so it's... Yeah, Rex, we were wondering where you were. You missed the dino episode. We went exploring... Exploring for dinos. It was pretty cool. We did some dino exploring yesterday as well, kind of. We had to go visit those points and take pictures of them. Like, doesn't this, like, the map... Let me skip some time again. Doesn't this just... Oops, I think I went too far. Or not enough. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't this map just look awesome, though? I think it looks cool. Just looks much different. I mean, a desert. Than all kinds of trees and stuff. Every map of SnowRunner looks sort of the same. As far as, like, the trees and stuff go. I know it's different, uh... Different assets, I guess you could say. But... This one just looks a lot different with the, the like, red-ish soil and stuff. Another one? Oh, way over there? Oh, man. That's brutal. Oh, jeez, that is deep. And we are quite stuck. No way am I screwed on this. There's literally nothing up, nothing around. I think I might have got myself stuck. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, good. Oof. SnowRunner needs a region like this. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. I know a lot of people like the uh, Carpathians, and I like the map too. I think it looks really nice. I think there's something about the desert, though. It might just be because I've never lived in a climate like this, but I just think this looks so much better. But yeah, only one specialist could be a way to do it. 
Or I suppose you could, you could even have two, because that would make it harder. Less than three, but... There's kind of the two that are really OP, right? The the drone girl and the guy with the uh, no no water damage in the engine. So you can kind of drive through water. Even if you uh, like get in really deep water, you're not going to take damage, so you can just drift down river. All right, let's try and find a way to climb up this hill now, I guess. Um, looks like it's on the back side over here, okay. Put a mark here, and then we gotta go over here. Up, up, up there, all the way to there. Hey, right now I'm hiding from a tornado. What? Tornado, really? Well. Wow. Uh, do you live in Tornado Alley? Tornado Alley, Lightning Ninja? I think you aren't you from like Oklahoma? Like prime, prime tornado territory. There's a modded map like this. That is it. Um, but I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good as well. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you're uh, you're safe there. Probably hiding at school. I would be guessing. Sorry, I bumped my mic again. Yes, Oklahoma. Nice. I think... There's a crazy, crazy st statistic about how many of the tornadoes happen in the United States, and it's like, I want to say it's like 80 or 90 percent, or even higher, something like almost all the tornadoes that have ever happened are in the U.S. It's kind of weird. If you guys are wondering why we didn't take... Oh, wait, I was supposed to go... I was supposed to go out to here. But I guess I'll do that after this. I thought I was just going to go to one point and then go there. Because I can drop off that much. Anything more I can't drop off. The rest of it I need to keep to do that mission. I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping we're making some good progress here. We've, we've done a lot of the expeditions so far, which have taken up a good chunk of the time. Now that we've got all the vehicles and got all the maps, I think we're trying to get most of the upgrades. It's going pretty well, I guess. You kind of wish these maps were bigger. Well, with the areas you can drive... Or wait, I kind of wish these maps were bigger, but with areas that you can drive at full speed. Oh, I gotcha. So areas that you can just open it up. There isn't really too many areas that I've found that you can just open it up. There's a lot of these little rocks, all of these rocks that kind of slow you down. Like, you can open it up, but you don't actually ever get up to full speed. Or at least it seems like it. Man, I remember struggling up this hill the first time we came here for one of the uh, expeditions. That time we didn't even lower the tire pressure and just climbed right up. So the, um... What is it? The... Oh wait, not that. 
Oh, goodness. That was close. So I was gonna say, the tires that we have aren't even the best for, like, on rock. These are the best for mud, I think. I guess I'm not even sure on that either. Um, so we could even get better tires for this. Yellow, yellow! How's it going, Pabo? Goodness gracious, what's up, Pabo? What's wrong? What's the deal? Sorry, just got to my house. I was driving. All the scouts have autonomous winch, so always put the long one. The drone gas add-on, you can only use it three times per deployment. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly how much uh, how much fuel it takes. I thought it was like three, four, maybe even five. I don't remember. Okay, cool. We got AS3 tires. I don't know what those are, but I'll take it. You think I'm secretly enjoying the game more and more? I wouldn't say that. I'm having fun with it, but I wouldn't say I'm enjoying it more and more. I'm having fun with it, and yeah, I'm just playing it for a little bit here. Good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, Mike. How are you doing? All right, here we go, guys. Ready? Oh, you know what? Oh my god. I kind of forgot that uh, I need these spare parts. So if I wreck up my truck, I actually need the spare parts. Luckily, we don't need... What are we at? 25 out of 100 on our engine. Okay, so we got to be kind of careful. Anything more, we're going to start shutting it off. SD1 did a tips video. Oh, nice. I think I've seen that one. Unless he did a more recent one. Oops. So yeah, you can see we need 200 repair points for this spot up here that we're coming to. We have like 205. So I can't really damage my engine up much more. I gotta be a little bit careful. This looks like a prime spot to damage the engine too. I'm trying to get out of this. Poor Lodestar. Yeah, it drives Pablo nuts that we ha we drive around with broken vehicles, so Pablo is not having fun right now. Slowly, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to speed demon this thing. Trying to get there as quickly as possible. It would stink to smash into a rock right at the end though. Take a little bit of damage and then not have the engine work. So we're trying to go trying to go as fast as we can without screwing it up. Cause yeah, I, I literally can't repair it even one one more time. I won't have enough points. So I started over because I didn't want to go back and figure out what I missed. Your anxiety's at eleven. Hello from Poland. There's another one from Poland here, so we got two from Poland here today. Oh, it looks like we got another uh, airdrop thing here. It looks like I probably should climb up on that right side, but maybe this left side would be good as well. Hello, Bruno. How are you doing today? Oh, I had to 
I had to install a hydro monitoring system out here. Water monitoring system. I don't remember that. Have I? I don't think I did. It doesn't look like it. Trying not to take damage. I don't know how much more I can take, but it's gotta be pretty close. I mean, the engine's red. Okay. So we have 205. We can deliver 100 and 100. Ooh, we got Expeditions Express stickers. So worth it. Just looking around trying to find multiple tornadoes. Oh, sorry, I got checked out when I was passing by the courthouse to get my sister... Oh, and then the tornado sirens all went off. Sorry, I didn't read that earlier. Uh, lightning. Okay, let's go back to... What do we got? The ER, maybe? Do we have anything near this one? Gotta go down a ways to get to... Those are Sonoran Desert. Wowie Bay. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. That one. Here we go. So we could do a portable meteor station. I mean, we're pretty close to some of these points, but... That would mean a little bit more driving with the Lodestar. We're pretty close. I might as well, huh? Oops. Time to go... Go back over here. <laughs> what is this one? Wilderness calendar, huh? Posted a picture of the super loaf in action. Is the super loaf just the normal loaf with, like, all the upgrades, or...? Hearing tornado sirens must be bone chilling. So, I remember when I was a kid, um, we, we get them up in Minnesota, but not as often, because we're pretty far north, but, um, I remember when I was a kid, we went, we, like, there was tornado sirens or whatever, we went down to the basement, and it, it went fairly close by our house, and we had a big shed, like a big wooden shed that was probably like a, maybe a 30 foot by 30 foot or something. And it literally took the whole roof off the shed and threw it into our neighbor's yard. So that was interesting. I remember going outside after that the next day and being like, what the heck? Like the whole roof was just gone. Ripped the entire thing right off. And it, it landed in like one, one big piece. So it was like strong enough to lift it off, but it wasn't strong enough to just tear it apart, which was interesting. Okay, we gotta try and be careful here still. But yeah, it, prob it probably only went like maybe 50 yards away, but it was still like kind of crazy to think about like a huge, you know, thousands of pounds of wood just getting picked up and thrown around. Okay, I gotta go back up this way. I don't trust myself to climb the other side here. Tornadoes are one of the only thing that scares you? Ace, where are you from? Fully upgraded loaf, correct, okay. Oh wow, you got it fully upgraded now. Mine's still not fully upgraded. There were multiple tornadoes on the ground in Oklahoma. I've seen quite a few in my lifetime, but none of them have been like none of them have ever really done that much damage other than that one. That one it wasn't even that bad. I, I wouldn't say everything else was pretty much fine. So I think I can sneak by on the left here. Let's do that. Super loaf pulling the dead weight of the AFIM since it's out of gas now. Oh no. That's not good. Kind of when they go off, you know you must be shelter immediately. Yeah, you don't really have much time on those things. Oh no. That's a rip. 
Alright, I guess we're going back. I gotta turn around. Saber Interactive's new DLC is gonna be called The Lofet. You grew up in Florida, but you're in Pennsylvania at the moment. Okay. When I was a kid, our next door neighbor's pool got hit by lightning. It shook the house. Our neighbor the next day told us that every electric in the house was completely fried. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And to replace their circuit panel. I've never heard of anybody having to replace that, but I mean, I guess at some point you would, right? If everything is broken on it. It just, it seems like those things are made to last. I've never heard of anyone having one get uh, destroyed like that. Okay, we gotta put a camera trap here. I don't think I'm gonna do that now, because I'm probably not gonna do that mission. Take a photo of the mountain? I mean, I guess, whatever, we're already here. Oh wow, there we go, we got a roof rack. Wilderness calendar. Never mind, I guess it was a good idea to do that one. Knocking them out left and right. Oh, here we go. Scan the water for junk. You can actually see the junk in this one. Look at that. Oh, wait. I missed a little bit. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, there's a little bit more on the top there. Really? There we go. You have to get them like completely in both of them. That's like that's kind of ridiculous how small those circles are to to get them both completely correct. Um, apparently, sunken trucks have been a source of pollution all, all this time. We appreciate you helping to improve the quality of the lake. Everyone who enjoy and or quality of the lake for everyone who enjoys it. Stage complete. Now what do we got to do? Place the light beacon? I don't have a light beacon. Alright, I guess we'll drone that in, right? I think we have a drone on this one. Modules, drone. Perfect. Um, go to the store. Light beacon. There we go. Emergency reserves medium. That's done. Uh, the pool pump was wired directly into the breaker. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought you were going to say. Uh, from the lightning hitting the pool, went right into the breaker, blew everything. Yeah. Everything that was pretty much connected, right? Total power surge. Alright, let's go down and try and find a couple more to do here. While we pay. While we pay. Okay, we can go do this one. Let's do it with the... I think the YAR will maybe recover the YAR back up there. Actually, I think... Is there an upgrade over here? I thought there was one up here somewhere, if I'm not wrong. Probably wrong. I don't remember where, where all the upgrades were actually located. Uh, so can you drone in supplies wherever you are on the map to complete a mission? Uh, you can, but the drone the drone costs 50,000, Pabo. Which is a lot of money at the start of the game. Now I'm pretty rich. What do we have? 500,000, 509,000. So we're getting up there with money. We're probably around like 45% done with the game or so. But no, 45 is probably optimistic. Probably like maybe 40, I guess. Oh wait, no, this is the truck that had all the jack screws and the reusable one. That's why. 
Okay. Uh, let's recover this one. Let's go to the north base. Where's that? Outposts and gates. South? No, is it west? Southwest. Oh, northwest. There we go. Uh, but yeah, if you buy the drone, you can get... Um, you can use it three times on a map, Pabo. So if you don't have supplies, that makes it cool. You can just drone it in instead of having to go back and get it. Most of the time, you're probably going to run out of, like, say for, for the one over here, you have to, like, put out, like, three, three beacons or something like that. Like, you can drone in three beacons, but you can only fill up your inventory. So for this one would be five spots. So if I wanted to drone in three beacons, then I could only have, like, jack screws and anchors, and that, that would be it. Like, I'd have to drone it in again. And you only have enough fuel to drone it in three times. So you couldn't do too much stuff, really. Um, but I guess you could you could have a fuel truck sitting at the drone and refill it, and then you could go for quite a long time, actually. I think you could put... If you had the biggest fuel tank, I don't know what it is, 180 probably on the fours, I think. Uh, you could have 300 in the fuel tank and then a bunch on the bed if you wanted. So you could probably do it quite a lot. What would that be? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Probably like 12, 12, 12 if you did like the maximum amount. Uh, my mom was driving us home when lightning was really close. When lightning struck really close, sorry. Um... And she couldn't see anything? That's pretty scary. Pablo, do you remember when I first started this and I had no tires and suspension and stuff and I was just stuck right there? I think I had a rock stuck to the bottom of my truck as well. Which we found out later. So you can refuel the drone so you can do more than three times per map. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct, Pablo. Or if you want, you can just steal fuel from the drone. Like if you, oh wow that's a big hit oh wow that actually like almost destroyed my truck really jeez that was a big hit I think I already had it like half destroyed because that seemed like it was uh, much much more damage than we did but yeah you can you can start out and like say I run I'll just give you an example say we run all the way out to the city. And then we decide we want to go back to here to go down this way to do this mission. We could steal fuel from this cargo drone we have up here. And then, you know, drive around. But I didn't know you could use the drone like that until like two days ago. I just found it out. So, um, yeah, I guess it, it wouldn't make sense to really stop there anymore. Because you could just drone yourself in fuel if you needed it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool thing. I mean, it's it's super futuristic, which I think probably originally that was the thing I didn't really like about the game, but it's kind of grown on me, I guess. High-powered winch, huh? Oops, sorry, looking at chat again. Uh, you can sell the building for ninety percent. Ninety percent value. Uh, Haha, <laughs> now the mod browser is trashed again. Really? Now yeah, nature's scary, says uh, Rex. So something stupid is the fact that you can take... Wait. You can take a gateway with one truck, you can't switch to another truck on another map. You have to drive back to the pathway to choose the, the new truck. Yeah. Sorry I can't stay longer, but this was fun. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you, Rex. Understandable. Have a good rest of your day, Rex. I will probably see you tomorrow. I know you said you were busy lately, but yeah, thanks for stopping in and see you again soon. Actually, I think... Yeah, I'll go down here. Yeah, like, so one of the things that's kind of weird is, like, if you go through a gateway with one vehicle, you can't switch back to your other vehicles on the other map. You have to bring all the vehicles that you want to switch to through the gateway. So the way to get all four vehicles through would be drive two through winched up, drive one back, then winch, winch it to another one, drive that those two through again, 
then drive back again, and then winch the third one, go through the gateway, and then you got all four on the one map. So it's kind of lame how, you, how you'd have to do that, but... You also can't, like, check other maps. Like, this is the only map that I can see right now, because it's the map that I'm on. So that's kind of lame. I feel like I definitely did not go this way or last time. I went to the, to the right around this whole thing. Last time I checked, the radar is going to Missouri. Well, anybody in Missouri, watch out. That is a bit weird, yeah. Yeah, this one we have uh, a bunch of jack screws and also have the reusable uh, anchor point. So there's some that are not reusable and some that are. You should just be able to switch. I think it'd also be nice if you could, do, could go on multiple expeditions or do multiple expeditions at once. Just because... Like, the other day I was trying to, uh, start scanning. Take a photo of the town. Okay, I was trying to get a screenshot for the thumbnail of the video. And I was already deployed in a region that I, I had ended off the video, the previous stream on. And so I couldn't go get a picture for that stream because I was already on a, an expedition, so I couldn't, like, redeploy other vehicles. That would be kind of nice. I know it would probably be a little bit weird, but in SnowRunner, you can have... You can you can have a vehicle on every single map if you wanted. So I think that would be a, a good thing if they did that. Allow you to deploy... Start multiple expeditions at once if you really wanted. And keep track of your stuff. If you start an expedition or a contract or task... Well, expeditions, I guess, are different, but... Um, a task or contract and you don't finish it, you gotta restart. There we go. Hello Ian, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Ian? Uh, hopefully the part, that's part of the UI update so that you can open up the global map. That would be nice, yeah. I didn't really have these holes as much before, but now there's a lot of them. I don't know what's going on. That's probably like the fifth... Well, now there's like two more here. Oh my god. They're all over. I was gonna say, that's probably like the fifth one we've seen today, and then all of a sudden a couple more pop up. How am I gonna get up here? Looks like I probably should go around and up, but I think we might be able to get up this way. We have the reusable anchor, so we should be good. We have the jack screws again. Should be good on that part. Alright, so... Jack screw or er, uh, anchor up there. Now we picked it back up. I think we need to go up again. Yeah, it looks like we probably do. Okay. Looks like the best spot for it, I suppose. Throw out the anchor again. And we'll pick it back up. 
There we go. Inflate the tires. I probably should have done this one last. That one's still down in the town. Now I gotta drive back down to the town. Oh well. There we go. One more to go. Well, actually, this looks like you could have climbed up right here. I must have missed this. Looks quite rocky, but possible. Not a bad way up, for sure. Yeah, I feel like we're making really good progress on here because we're knocking out all kinds of the smaller ones. There we go, 1100, or 11,000, excuse me, for that one. Okay, let's see what other ones we have left. It's really annoying. I wish they wouldn't all show up here. I know I keep complaining about it, but... Okay, portable media station over here. Is that the first one? Yeah, early bird we can't track. Yeah, that must be it, okay. Warm reception, that's the one. Can't track. Well, that's basically it, actually, for contracts. So all we gotta do is get a portable meteor station out here. So we could go with the 805 out that way. We're close to that. Let's see if we have any tasks. Air delivery. That's Grand Canyon. I, want, I bet you a bunch of these are Grand Canyon again. Oh, that's here. Take a picture of the pond a few times, it looks like. Yeah, we could do that. Let's go this one, this one, this one maybe. Skip the time again. Oof. You got the AFIM acquired. Nice. Good work, Sing. So you have the pug, you have the loaf, which are the, the first map ones. Now you have the AFIM. Now you gotta go get the uh, KRS Bandit. What was the last one? Kiaris Bandit and... What's the last vehicle that they have on here? Oh, Tatra 805. You gotta go get the Kiaris Bandit and Tatra 805 now. Well, not, not like directly right now, but the next one's up, I mean. Because obviously you, uh, you got, like you said, you're trying to do it map by map, so you're kind of working your way through. I'm just jumping all over the place. We're going from Grand Canyon to um, Carpathians, then back to Grand Canyon to Huawei Bay or, you know, whatever. Jumping all over the place. I was planning to play it in order, but on the very first day I streamed, people were saying that I should go, because I, I tried to 100% Little Colorado, well, we, we, I missed one thing, I guess, but, um, they asked us to go to a different, uh, different looking area, which was Carpathians, because they had already seen enough, or a lot of desert, it's like, alright, whatever, I guess, and so yeah, then we kind of just jumped back and forth all around after that. Oh, nice little spin out there. Oh, 
Good evening, Fabian. Fabian says good evening, JJ, in the awesome chat. How are you doing today, Fabian? We're seeing lots of black holes on this one for some reason. Maybe it's just this map, I don't know, I guess. There's another one right in, right in front of us here. Oh, shoot. Oh, we still got it up just because the rock. Nice. And there it goes, okay. Now we can use the jack screw. Um, so I am doing here is, or so what I am doing here is buying all these base additions for the map and then I'm going to sell it when I'm all done. Well, that's actually a good idea. You can sell it for 90% of what you buy it for. So if you bought it for 10k, you can sell it for 9k. If you bought the drone one for 50k, you can sell it for 45. All good, bro. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Start scanning. Take a photo of the pond. Okay. There we go. One photo down. I thought this was another one, but I think that's just the, where you start the contract at. I'm pretty sure we got to go over to this one. Yeah, okay, it's this one. Yeah, I wouldn't mind 100%ing each map before I move on, but I'm kind of just doing like a, doing one deployment, doing a bunch of random stuff, then doing another one. No real reason, but... Sorry. Had a sneeze come out of nowhere. Barely got the mic muted and game paused. Uh, didn't want to blow out you guys' eardrums. I think you might need some fuel. Yeah, you're right. Let's fuel up. There we go. I think after this one, we'll, we'll leave the area. We've been here for a good two hours now. Uh, we got some good work done here. Definitely got good work done. I think we can actually climb that right there, it looks like. Bless you, thank you, South Bank. Uh, I don't know, I'm weird, but I like the mini games. I don't mind some of them. Like, the, the photo ones are fine. The, the fish one was fine, because that one's easy. But the ones where you have to find the junk in the river, I had one where I literally spent 15 minutes trying to find the junk. Rogue sneeze, yeah, it came out of nowhere. Like, normally it's kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling a sneeze coming on, but this one was just like, yeah, right out of nowhere. I was lucky enough to get, uh, just barely got the, the pause and the, the mute button on the mic. Because normally I'm like, hang on a second, and then I pause it and mute it and, you know. But no, I didn't even have time to say anything. I'm just like, oh, shoot. But yeah, as far as the mini games go, I... I would say they're probably, in my opinion, the worst part about the game, to be honest. I... Spending 15 minutes to try and find a stupid piece of metal in the water... I mean, if they... Like, I even tried to up the brightness all the way... And I still couldn't see it. It was... There was just nothing to see. Sometimes you can see them and then that's fine. You can, you know, figure out where to pinpoint them. Maybe you miss them a few times, like I did earlier, where it's like... You get like three quarters of it, but you're missing a little chunk. That's fine, but... Um, some of the ones that I've done where it's taken like 15 minutes to find the junk, that's just, that's, that's dumb. The little slider minigame, I don't mind either. That one's fine. It's just when there's the junk in the river, that's the, the one that gets me. Because I've had two of them that have taken a really long time now. Alright, I think we'll go to either Sonora Desert or Coco Nino. Nino? Wait, no. What are we in? 
We're in Coconino. Okay, we'll go to, uh... We'll go to Wawi Bay or... Sonoran Desert after this. We have a good amount of work to do on both of those ones. Grand Canyon, we're... we're we got all the upgrades there. I think we did a pretty good job. Still got some stuff to do, but... Alright, throw this up here. I think this is it. Take a photo of the pond. Not that pond, okay. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we got a high-powered winch. Great shots, you were, you are born photographer. Or you are a born photographer. The journal is sent to the print, or to print, here's your commission. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. Oops, not content library. Holy crap. Did we? No way. 133,000 for that? Wow. That was productive. 42,000 for the, the uh, expedition. 9,000, 500, 11,000, 6,000, 4,000, 19,000. Uh, 10,000, 11,000, 3,000, and then 16,000 for items sold. Holy cow. Okay. That was crazy. 133,000 on that expedition. We're actually almost almost tied with Carpathians now, 2326. Have you ever had pastrami before? Is that just like salami? I think it's kind of the same, right? I, I don't know if I've ever had pastrami. Yeah, you should be able to at least see the junk. Like, they should make it more visible, and then I wouldn't care. Okay, what does this give us? No, no real rewards. Nothing. 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 So yeah, I think we got most of the, uh... Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. And then Coco Nino. Nothing and nothing. So it looks like we got most of the, uh... Most of the expedition... Oh wow, look at all that's on the left coast there. We got most of the expedition stuff done. As far as, um the rewards that we get for them. So now I think most of it's tied up in tasks and contracts and then on the map. This one says it's normal. I don't think I want to go to Coconino again though. Let's go to Wawi. That one's pretty far. Wait. Do I not have the other outpost here? East outpost, north outpost. Why is it only showing one outpost? It shows two on the free roam, but all the other ones, one. Anyways, all right, let's do, what is this one? Hydro monitoring system. It's a cold cut made of beef, it's really good. No, it's not the same? Okay, I don't think I have had it then, but I, I would probably like it. If you ever see some, I suggest you grab some and make a sandwich with it. Yeah, I've heard of pastrami sandwiches. Mustard, I like mustard as well. Pop it in the toaster, or toaster oven. Heat it up with a pan for a bit, butter in it, get that to a crisp, it sounds really good. Rubens has pastrami, right? Yeah, I think we'll do this one. What did we get? We got something on here, right? Okay, roof rack, no way. Finally, we found the roof rack for the AFIM. That's probably one that, uh... Zing's gonna want to find. Oh, we still don't have the rock crawler kit, though. That's somewhere in this region, okay. At least we do have the lift kit, which makes it wider. 
So I guess that's good. Yeah, I think we're good on all this for the rest of the stuff here. Sell the small reserves. I think we're good most of the stuff. Just ra oops, frame modules. One one last second. So we have a short sideboard bed on it right now. So that means we can carry some stuff. Let's fill slots. We should be able to do all fuel. Because we have 150 here. Nice. Slice of Swiss cheese on top. Yes, Rubens has pastrami. Still not feeling this game to buy it as yet. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. It's not for everybody for sure. Um... Six, someone playing on Xbox, finally. Or are you are you on PC with a controller? I'm on PC with a controller. Sorry to disappoint. You like the AFIM? I gotta find more upgrades for it, but uh Yeah, we're we're looking good now with some of the upgrades. We got quite a few of the trucks. I think what did we just find for this? We found something. Oh yeah, the large reserves. There we go. Is that it? I think so. Throw on maybe the Acteon as well. What do we got for upgrades on this one? It looks like we found something. Oops. Emergency reserves for large as well. Still don't have this rear-mounted rack. Seat by the water. We got to complete that. Off-road gearbox. Sell those two. Bigger engine, bigger tires, autonomous winch. Alright, yeah, I think we're good. Let's just throw on maybe the Con Marshall. That one's a fun one to dink around with. Um, if you like cheese, why not? Yeah, I like cheese. I've said this before, I love cheese, actually. Okay, so the AFIM is going to be our bigger truck. Let's get the hydrologist, operator, why not throw on a logistician. And we got to equip some of these vehicles. So let's do the Warthog with that and that, and Acteon, same thing. Con Marshall, same thing. And then let's do the AFIM, same thing. But we'll put the monitoring system in there as well. So now we're good to go. The Warthog and the Marshall, we got the monitoring system up here. Um, yeah, because we got to go to this point, this point, and one other point somewhere. Should be good to go. All good. Like the controller gameplay. Nice. I stumbled on a Russian YouTube video where they were showing all these IRL, or trucks IRL, going through hellish terrain. I saw the Acteon, which was impressive to see. Nice. Okay, there we go. Nice and bright. I I dislike this... Uh... Oh, wait, did I... Oh, no. I'm in the wrong wrong truck. Here we go. I dislike this outpost here. It takes so long to get down off of this thing. We got two spots and then three. It's just, uh, it's way too high. <laughs> like you can see, you can see how high up we are. It takes a long time to get down off this thing. Unless, maybe there's a route 
Actually, going down might be better. It was going up that was quite tough. Maybe we can find a good way to go down. Repel off a cliff or just full send, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any, uh, any trees around. Well, I guess that tree over there, maybe. We could possibly repel off that one. Actually, that looks pretty far away from the edge. I don't think we're going to make that. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we try it anyways? Yes or no? I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we try to repel off this? Doesn't look very good, but if you want to do it, we can do it. I don't care. Actually, you know what? We have jack screws. Let's do it. I put, I put jack screws in all of our trucks. Or you know what? I haven't actually done this yet. Oh, hang on. I could use an anchor point. Put that really close to the edge. And then attach a winch. Okay, here we go. You wouldn't, says South Bang. Yeah, it's looking like a pretty bad spot to go down, but like I said, we got jack screws, we're all good. It's quite a quite a tall cliff though, to be honest. That might be the biggest cliff I've actually oh, right into a rock pile, are you serious? What are the odds? That's just bad luck right there. Hello, Caleb. Oh. Nice, got it. All right. Back from a meeting, how goes the trucking? Welcome back, Mateo. Uh, so far, so good. We just repelled off that cliff. That was a pretty interesting one. We landed right on a rock pile. So it was like the worst possible spot to land. We were, our front end was just stuck in the ground. Uh, but we did some, some good uh, progress on the other map. We played it for about two hours. We just had an expedition. I think the expedition paid us like 42,000. I think you were there for that part. But then we did uh, like 10 side missions or something. And we ended up making 133,000, I think it was, throughout the entire, uh, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, expedition. It wasn't, it was only one expedition and then a bunch of like tasks and contracts basically. Alright, I think we can sneak down the edge here. Oh yeah, this is a pretty nice road actually. But we just got the roof rack on the AFIM for one of the uh, tasks or contracts we did over there, which is awesome. I was hoping to find that pretty soon, so... Yeah, money comes well in this game. Once you get up there, like, the, the uh, expeditions, I think the highest I've made is like 47 or 49,000 in one expedition. This one's supposed to pay like 30, I think. But yeah, we're sitting at 558,000 now. And I know I keep saying this, but I could buy all the vehicles. We're still missing the Step 310E, the normal version, and the uh, Lodestar, the normal version of that. So probably together that's maybe 180 or something. And uh, you throw on some upgrades, you're probably looking at maybe 220. So we still have like 300 extra thousand dollars now. So we have 
enough to buy every vehicle and probably every upgrade that we want. Let's see, how am I going to get down? Is there a spot? Looks like it, yeah. Okay. Oh shoot, that's taller than I thought. There we go. But yeah, I would say once you start getting into these, because we're, we're done with 23 expeditions here in Arizona. And we've done 26 in Carpathian. So now any, any of the expeditions we start doing, they make really good money. Or at least it seems that way. We've got uh, 11 left in Carpathians and 14... Well, 13 after this one, but 14 here in Arizona. So 25 total. Do you ever find yourself doing base construction? That's a feature in this game, right? It is, but um, it's... Actually, here, I'll jump to one of my other trucks. I'll show you. It's basically... Like, this is my base. And you get two of these... Two to four of them at a, at a... So on the first map of each region, you get four. Um, because they have what's called a field operations base. I'll go down here. So there's different outposts, but basically the... Or wait. Yeah, the field operation base, it's, it's telling us it's through this gateway into Grand Canyon. So you get one of those per region. And each one of those can have four different uh, modules. Or uh, whatever you want to call them. And then once you go to a different map, you get outposts. So you can see you have the west, southwest, north, uh, east, and south, and stuff like that. So every outpost can have two. This one we have a drone. And then we have one that we haven't built yet. And then up here, we have two that we haven't built yet. Um, so I could do more of that. Like we could... Hang on, let me sw switch the camera so it gets rid of that. So we could build either a workshop essential storage, warehouse, or extended or expanded parking. So the expanded parking gives us eight wheels, and if we were to recover here, it would cost half the price. The essential storage, I'm not entirely sure if there's anything more than just storage to it, but it gives you 100 liters of fuel, 200 repair points, and two tires. The warehouse, again, I think this is just storage as well. I could be wrong. So I'm kind of confused. I mean, I guess this one gives you fuel and stuff. This one does not. This is just strictly storage. This one must be, uh... Well, I think I have all of them at some point. And then this workshop, if you bring back, um, scrap metal, you can turn it into spare parts, so you don't have to leave the map, because you can, you can fix stuff with the spare parts, and you can also, like, repair your vehicle, or some uh, contracts or tasks require you to drop off spare parts, like the one we did probably an hour ago or so. We can drop off spare parts and fix something or, you know, not, not, necessarily, not necessarily fix it, but it's just for a mission. So you might need those, or you can craft them into jack screws and uh, anchor points. And uh, the drone one that we have right here, you can take the fuel out of it if you want. Let me drive over to that quick. I'm not sure if you've seen the, the video I made about drone dropping fuel, but or even other stuff. If we want, we can take out the fuel from here, or we can add more fuel into it. So right now, I, I heard it takes 100 liters per trip. So if we wanted to, we could switch back to this vehicle. And then we could go to uh, the objects here, go to modules, and click on the drone. And then it could drop off something for us. So we get... Um, we could get fuel or any of the free stuff, which I can't remember what else is free, but... Um, it would cost 100 fuel to have that drone sent out to us. And it's really cool because you don't have to go all the way back to your base camp if you forgot something. Uh, but I haven't really used the workshop uh, or the... Ex I mean, it, I guess I've used expanded parking a little bit. How do you send the drone? You click... Um, well, you get into this menu. I don't even know what you... Select button or whatever. Then you go to Objects. Then you go down to modules and then click on drone and it'll ask you, do you want to send the drone out to you? I don't want it, so I'm not going to click it, but that's how you do it. That's so awesome, I'm not going to lie. So I haven't really used the workshop. That one I haven't used at all. Well, I mean, I guess I've, I've done it just to see what it was about, but I've, 
that's it. I basically, I would say it's not really useful. Um, the, the parking one is, because if you recover a lot, if you want to stay on a map a bunch, um, your, like uh, Spoon said, your first one is free. So there's more, you get a Lodestar, Lodestar part and have one more recovery for free. The, the one more recovery for free is if you have a, uh, one of the, the people, one of the people gives you a second free recovery. So that's not from the expanded parking. There is three to four more base modules in SD1's video. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming soon, Spoon, for the, uh, in DLCs. If building applied to all maps at once, I would consider using them. I think if they applied to all maps, it'd be too easy, to be honest. Um, okay, we gotta find some junk again. Let's see, I think there's something here. Nice. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of stuff there. Maybe all along the shoreline? Not enough. Okay, so all these rocks, basically. Let's try this. Oh, that one's huge. Why is that? Now it seems like they're huge. I don't know, that's weird. Nice. I think I nailed that. I think I got all of them. Um, there's a lot of rock at the bottom. It seems that there's no debris and the current is not too strong. This place suits us. Time to set up the equipment. Got it. Uh, expedition is done. Um, cause yeah, like, so money is tough to, to come by at the start. Like there was, that one was 18,000. Um, but we spent, I, I don't remember what it was, like 15,000 to get into here. But yeah, I think it'd be too easy. So off the start, maybe it would make sense just because then it would help you out a lot. But once you get to the point, like I have, what did I say? 578,000, we have a ton of money. Like we could buy a bunch of uh, base modules on all the maps and be fine. The main one that I would say to buy is the drone one because you can drop stuff off and that's gonna save you tons of time. The other ones, the parking is nice to save you, save you money uh, recovering. And the other one is nice if you have, uh, if you again recover back to it, you can get some spare parts, some wheels, and fuel. But I don't know, you can take fuel from the drone. So like the drone, the drone just seems like it's by far and away the best one. If you look at the prices on them, let me go back quick. Um, they were, oops, I think it was ten thousand, ten thousand. The drone's fifty thousand, and I think the last one's like twenty. Why can I not reverse? Oh, it's in neutral. Nice. Um, oops, gotta turn the camera, there we go. So yeah, 10,000, 10,000, 15,000, and 20,000, and then the, the uh, drone's 50. So the drone is, what is this, 40? The drone is basically the same price as all four of these ones combined. These ones are 55 combined. The drone is 50 by itself. So yeah, it, it's a big, uh, big difference, I would say. I think let's go up for this upgrade up here. We got, I think there's actually another upgrade back here. I remember looking at the map seeing, maybe it's like up by this tree or something. Let's go do that, I guess. Stopping in for a second. Uh, hello Artem, maybe I'll be back depending on how long you stream today. Probably another hour. Uh, I'd love to see these kind of buildings and snowrunner sites, that would be kind of cool. I'd have to think about it a little bit more if I think it would be a good idea or a bad idea as far as like, would it mess up the mechanics of the game, you know? But I do think it is kind of cool to have the drone drop off stuff to you. That's uh, pretty... You know, like, the, you spent, like, maybe they could find a way to make it work. Maybe it would be different stuff, but, uh, you know, still find a way to make it work. I don't know. Crap, I was going to go one more time. Make it nice and bright. Um... You think they're going to add wider bridges? I think they should, because uh, uh, we were drifting the Lodestar earlier across the bridge. Some of the vehicles just barely fit with the big tires. Uh, you can sell the module for 90% of its original value. Yes, that is correct, Spoon. And the AFIM is really good feeling. It is. 
The KRS Bandit is really good feeling as well. I want to find the, uh, the roof rack and stuff for that one as well. And actually, maybe we did find it now. Because sometimes some of the upgrades, I've noticed they say they're for one truck, but they're for multiple trucks. Let's see, what are we at as far as... Um, 44% in Arizona, 47 in Carpathians. We are... 8 out of 41, 5 out of 38, 16 out of 35, 8 out of 27. So we got 58 and 48 upgrades. What's that? 116? No, 106. Can't do math. Um, so we have 108, or yeah, 108 total upgrades out of 205. We still have a ton to go. So in total, we're at 96 out of 214 and 97 out of 204. Um, use the drone to clear the map from black. Um, actually, Spoon, the drone does not clear the, the map from black. The drone, or er, well, I guess from black to gray, yes. Um, let's see if I can show this quick. Uh, I've explored all this area, so it wouldn't work. Um, yeah, if you, if you, so for example, this part, which is black, if you were to send up a drone, this is what you would get. You'd get this gray part. If you drive the drone actually over it, then it becomes the, the like, clearish part. Um, and if you use the binoculars or a radar module, then it, it clears it as well. So to be honest, the binoculars... Well, so radar would be the best. The radar range is pretty big. And it, it, it marks everything, I think, on the map. Maybe not everything, but I'm pretty sure it marks everything. At least puts it into question marks or something. So that one's probably the most help. Then I would say binoculars, because you can look around and just get a bunch of it revealed. You don't actually have to be, like, close to it. Like, the, like you can launch the drone and get really close to stuff. And it only does the really, really nearby area as far as the clear part. And so I would say the binoculars are actually better at clearing the map than the, the drone. Oops. Slammed on the brakes just in time. The snowrunner modules could cost resources you can pick up around the map. Like normal missions, modules like expanded truck slots, fuel storage, water storage, mechanics, etc. But it could get grindy. Yeah, like I said, I'd probably have to think about it a little bit more to see if it'd be something that I would want to see. I think it works good in expeditions just because you can only have a limited amount of trucks, so that's kind of a way you can sort of, uh, like, help yourself out, I guess, kind of. By using the, using the, uh, the drone and picking up more fuel and more spare parts and stuff like that from your... And being able to craft them, you know? Because you can't just bring out another truck. It's not an option. But I guess... I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind if it was in, like, normal SnowRunner. Just because then it's, it's, it's kind of like whatever. But if it was in hard mode, would I like it? I don't know. Oh, we got to use the binoculars here for something. Let's see what this is about. Check for... Check the area for tracks. What kind of tracks are we looking for? Oh. Dinosaur tracks. Looks like we gotta go over here for some more. Traces, is that the one we're on? I don't know if that's the uh, mission we're doing, Proof of Strength. Oh, wow. That's where, oh, so that's where we start the contract. We'd have to go back here and visit the area, visit the area, and visit that area. Are all these for the traces, looks like? Is this traces as well? I'm guessing that's traces for all the... the one I've just started. 
All right, I'll probably come back and do that one later. We're gonna just try and go get the upgrade here. I might take the other truck down and get the traces one. So we got one truck up there still. Oh wait, how far away? That one's not that far. Let's go get proof of strength, I guess. We'll try and knock these ones out, I guess. I don't know. Because once I start them, like you can't, you can't just. Yeah, you can't just quit out. Like they, they reset. So, if you're gonna start them, you gotta do them all the way. Which is a bummer. Because I'd like to just get, you know, hit one point while I'm close to it, then hit another one when I'm close to it the next time, and not have to do it all at once. Oh, that was it? Okay. Oh yeah, it's just visit the area, never mind. Nice little bridge. Again, this one's at a weird angle. Kinda gotta go to the right and then back to the left. How's the Marshall's fuel tank versus SnowRunner? Um, it's 80 liters on here, so it's double the size. Well, yeah, double the size of SnowRunner's. It used to be 72 when SnowRunner first came out, I remember. And it had like, I think it might even been 80 on the roof rack or something. And they, they nerfed it down to like 40 uh, on, on the truck itself. And I think they nerfed the roof rack a little bit as well. But yeah, it used to have a huge range and then they uh, they toned it back a bit, which is kind of a bummer. It was really nice to have a really long range. But yeah, if you look at the, the liters per minute, like 8.9, 8.5, 7.8. I was looking at the liters, so I had to be careful we're running up over that. Um, so the, the amount of fuel it burns is quite a bit higher, so it kind of makes sense that it has a bigger tank. But yeah, the, the tank is twice the size Wait, is this just over the... Yeah, it's kind of just over it, isn't it? We'll, go, we'll keep going around. But it the, the vehicles just feel so much better in here. I don't know what it is. They just feel more grounded, more heavy. Like, they don't slide around as much. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it, but... Yeah, it's just something, something different about it. I would say I prefer the Marshall on here than SnowRunner, but I think... I just think the Scouts drive better on here. I mean, even the Warthog and Acteon drive a lot better. The Force? I don't know, that seems about, about the same, I would say, probably. I don't know how we're going to get out to that exactly. Looks like we got a blue zone up here. I don't know if this is something we just got to drive into. Oh, camera trap. Take a photo of the pier. I don't have a clue what I'm looking at. Like, I know what up here is, but I'm not seeing much. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it for now. I have no clue.
I mean, I guess the forest drives probably a little better. I haven't really thought about too much. The forest drive is pretty decent in SnowRunner. It just kind of can get bogged down sometimes, like in deep snow or mud, but it doesn't seem to as much on here, but there isn't as much deeper snow or mud, so... I don't know. But yeah, I would say all the vehicles just in general drive better on here. What mission did you hate the most? You despise glamour shots? Oh, jeez. Honestly, glamour shots might might have been the one that I... Where is, where is that, actually? So let me see where it is first. I think the one that I disliked the most was the one where I had to do a minigame and the water was really dark. And I, yeah, I even upped my brightness to max, max uh, settings. And I couldn't see anything in the water. It took me 15 minutes to find the freaking thing it wanted me to find. Um, I think it might have been Glamour Shots. It was for sure in um, Carpathians. I want to say... Oh, actually, no. Well, yeah, that's correct. But it was it was in the map with the ANK. So I think that's... It might have been the island. I can't remember. If I saw the map, I would know. It was in Carpathians? Yeah, I think that might be it. Echo Sounder minigame. I think, yeah, we might be talking about the same one. Because if, uh, yeah, that's probably the one that took me like 15 minutes. I started just doing a grid all over the map for the screen. Jeez, that rock is flying all over. Honestly, I don't think I can make that gap. I'm gonna go off to the side. Was it on the map where you get the uh, ANK? Because that was the map mine was on. That I absolutely did not like. Alright. That is done. So now we just gotta go to this area. Which we can do... Yeah, we, tr we started doing that one. We should do this one as well, actually. Let's drive to here, and then we can maybe go over here. I don't know if we can sneak around the edge of this, but... You think so? Did it have, like, a huge hill in the middle? I, there's kind of two maps that look very similar on there. Uh, Dormant Volcano and uh, the Swamps one kind of stand out as, like, the two that are not it. Slip Rock Swamps, but I can't remember which, which one it was out of the other two. I know it was the map with the A and K, I just don't remember what the name of the map was. Um, yeah, my day's been pretty good. Making some good progress on here. We did an expedition. Huge mountain, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the same one. Um, we did an expedition earlier on Coconino and we discovered like or not discovered, well we did like a bunch of tasks and contracts. I think we ended up getting like 133,000 from one expedition. Or one outing I guess you could call it. Not quite there, huh? Alright, we have these for a reason. But yeah, it's 133,000 from one expedition is quite a lot. That was the best one we've had. Usually I've, I've done the expedition and just went back pretty quickly. But yeah, this one, we're trying to make a lot of progress as far as doing, doing a lot of this little stuff now. 
because I'm I'm done with like 23 and 26 uh, expeditions in Arizona and the Carpathians. Can I go down on that side? Yeah, I can go up and back down, it looks like. Maybe I'll just stay down. I don't know if it's bad. It's kind of hard to tell. Looks like I could go through. When do you reckon the DLC will drop? I think it'll be quite a bit, actually, to be honest. So SnowRunners will probably come out in, like, two months. So I think it'll probably be, like, five months, maybe? No, pro or no, not five months, sorry. Um, let me think. Two months, so probably three and a half, roughly. That'd be my guess. So what would that be? That'd be about the end of June, probably. I think that's my best guess, because I think they're going to try and do it, like, halfway between the SnowRunner seasons, so people who play both games, they can kind of, uh... No traces here, let me check another place, okay. So that way the people who play SnowRunner can play SnowRunner when that drops, and then Expeditions when that drops, and then, you know, back and forth, you have probably about six weeks between the two would be my guess. I could be wrong, that's just a total random guess, but that's just my my thoughts. They're gonna try to sort of alternate between the two. Alright, let's try and get up here. Don't really care if we have to waste a uh, anchor point too much. It's not looking like we're gonna climb this, is it? Uh, they also have quite a few hiccups to patch. Yeah, they've said that they're gonna They're planning on doing a update this week on Xbox and PlayStation Oops, forgot about that uh, And then In April will be the second um, sort of update patch and then Or wait, was it April? Yeah, I think it was I'm, I might lose track now, but I think it was April and then May, but I feel like that was wrong. I think they said they're going to have another one in March, and then another one in April, something like that. Oh, we're out of fuel. There we go. But yeah, they definitely have a lot of issues to patch. And somebody mentioned today on one of my, uh, my videos, like, you know, they should have done a better job of getting through these, these things. Video games nowadays are just kind of like, I don't know, you... We're like the guinea pigs or whatever. Looking for tracks again, huh? I feel like it's up back here somewhere. No? Oh, right there, okay. But yeah, I feel like they definitely should have done a better job of uh, fixing a lot of this stuff. Like the drone crashing when you're when you're like 200, like I don't know exactly how far it is, but like 200 plus meters away, it crashes your game quite often. Stuff like that. So that's I feel like that sort of stuff should have been figured out. You know, obviously people are going to use the drone; they're going to push it to the max distance. You know, that's the whole reason of having that that extra character or whatever you want to call her. The specialist, I guess. You know, you're you're increasing your range drones from 80 to 280, and the whole point is to like be able to explore a lot further. So why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they test that all the way out to 280? You know. Uh, hello, ATL. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. The scout you're using is really good. Probably my favorite. Yeah, I think it's mine as well. Uh oh. Oh, no. Alright, actually, I'm just gonna leave it flipped over and just use a jack screw. I didn't feel like trying to mess with it. We got plenty of money, so 
Money is not an issue. Um, agreed, bud. Also, hi, ATL. Okay. Welcome to the stream. Drone crashing, tell me about it. Yeah, the drone crashing is pretty bad. Also, if you buy a dr the drone, uh, the cargo drone, the one we were talking about with the module, if you buy that and then immediately drop something off, that'll, that'll freeze your game as well. I've done it like five times now. Uh, I did it yesterday on stream and a couple of times on the other streams, but basically when you buy it, you have to give the game time to realize that you bought it for some reason. I did it yesterday, I gave it time, and it still crashed. So, yeah, that's a bummer. If you buy it, you'll have to let it sit for, I don't know, 15 minutes or something? Like, all, all I did was go get a different upgrade, and thought I, I thought I gave it enough time, but apparently not. But yeah, if you do that, give it some time, then it will, uh... It'll allow it to work, and then you can drop off stuff to yourself, so... If you don't have one on the map and then you buy it and want to use it right away, that'll mess you up. Um, JJ question, do you feel that roof racks in this game affect vehicle performance like in SnowRunner or make no difference? I would say it's in between. They make far less of a difference, but they still do make a difference. Um, I haven't... I would say on most vehicles I haven't noticed it too much. Like, you can tell it has a little bit more weight to it. But on the loaf, yesterday when I used it, you could really tell. That thing was struggling to go up hills and stuff. Uh, Zing said with the top engine, it's not as bad. Or actually, it's really good. But I don't have the top engine, so I can't say I've tried that one. But I'll take Zing's word for it. But most trucks, they, they, feel, they feel relatively the same. Just a little bit heavier, maybe, with a bunch of roof racks and stuff. Oh, we got a new guy. Mitch Goodman. Hang on just a second, guys. All right, um... Oh man, saw the drone crash happen to Nathan's stream is painful. Yeah, I saw it on Nathan's stream as well, actually. I saw it on Nathan's before I had tested it out for myself. So when I saw his crash, I was like, oh, I better try this, and I tried it... probably... I don't know. I think I did it two times one stream and two times the next stream, and I was like, okay, yeah, this definitely crashes your game. Um, drone crashes and textures are my biggest gripes. The textures are supposedly fixed, and actually, if you're on uh, Xbox or PlayStation, I heard if you lower your graphics from Ultra to High, that'll fix it right now. But, uh, yeah, there's a little bug, apparently, with that. Other than that, you're enjoying the game. The benefits of the roof racks are so nice, yeah. It's nice being able to customize your roof rack, you know? Just being able to choose between vehicle spare parts or... Well, I guess not vehicle spare parts. Uh, spare parts or fuel is a nice touch. It would be nice if you could have... Um, uh, spare wheels as an option as well. Like, maybe it takes up two slots or something. Oof. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. Basically, the spare wheels have, have to be, like, in the front or on the back or, like, a different spot for them. You, they're not just, like, on the roof racks. That's only for uh, spare parts and um, ah, fuel. But, yeah, these tires, these TM3s, I think they are, these are really nice tires. And once you get the rock crawler suspensions, the truck becomes a lot more stable. Like, it, this, this truck was... I would say somewhat tippy when it didn't have it because it would kind of basically the whole truck would bounce from side to side. Once you get the uh, rock crawler suspension, the independent flex just makes it a lot more stable. Much more fun to drive as well. I'm still a bad driver and I keep flipping over, but it's so much more stable. I think I'm probably goes across the board for all the trucks, but I can't, I don't have all the, uh, all the, uh, rock crawler suspensions yet, but it's definitely helped with, uh, a couple of the trucks. 
I think we just got it yesterday on the KRS Bandit and the ANK as well. So we have the rock crawler kits for those. We got the Lodestar, we got the Yar, got the Marshals. I think we have a good number of them. Glad you're enjoying it. Looks quite relaxing. It's it's good fun, yeah. I would say it is quite relaxing. It's a, it's a lot different. I think I don't know. I, th I feel like most people went into it thinking it's going to be like SnowRunner and kind of messed a lot of people up, but it's a good change of pace. The only like one of the big downsides is the controls. If you were to jump back and forth between the two, which is what I'm planning on doing, it's probably going to mess me up big time. I'm going to get messed up playing SnowRunner, and then I'm going to get messed up playing this, and then get messed up going back and. How many years do you think the game will be supported? You think three? Yeah, I would say probably two or three. I'm, I think I'm leaning closer to two, to be honest. I feel like, because it has mixed reviews, I did feel like it would die off pretty quick. And like, just, even the, even the views, oh shoot, I'm about to go too deep there. Even the views on my, uh, like my streams now, they're down quite a bit from the first couple of days. Well, obviously the first couple of days are a lot, but I feel like it's going to die off fairly fast because it's it's sort of um, a very niche. Like SnowRunner is already niche, but this is like an even more niche, I would say, than SnowRunner. And so I feel like it's not it's not going to have the staying power as much. Could be wrong. Actually, I'd be happy to be wrong, but my uh, thoughts. All right. Wait, why did I mark over here? Oh, there's a little zone here. I don't see it. What the heck? That's weird, there's no zone here. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that, where it's like, bugging out with the zone. Hey JJ, how are you doing today? Doing good, Brandon, how are you? Um, thanks man, what do you think about it? Yeah, good question for Mateo. I prefer this over SnowRunner, but I also really like the scout missions in SnowRunner, so maybe that's why. Okay. See, I, I prefer the cargo deliveries of SnowRunner. I'm, I don't really like the scouting missions. I just don't find them fun on SnowRunner. So, I mean, I did have fun in Phase 1, though, with, like, going going to all the points and stuff. I did enjoy that. Just the way that SnowRunner does the scouting missions in general just isn't fun. But, yeah, if they're more specific, I guess, then it's fine. So, I prefer SnowRunner over this, but I'm still having a lot of fun with this. I think the way they did the scouting in this one is better than that, which is why I enjoy it on here much more than there. Brandon says he's good. Thanks for asking. You're welcome, Brandon. Actually, I don't even know if this, does this airdrop have anything good in it. Why is it not showing anything? Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, nice. We got some jack screws and a reusable jack or uh, excuse me, anchor point and a reusable anchor point. The thing is, is when you get a reusable one, there's no point in having any more. Because you can just reuse that one over and over. Um, the only... I only went into it thinking this was going to be a bunch of SnowRunner contests. And that was way off. It's fun. SnowRunner, uh, SnowRunner contests are terrible. I agree. I don't like the SnowRunner contests at all. I could take this, uh, the anchor here, but I think I'll leave it. I don't want the bones or anything either, just because... Um, if we do find more jack screws, I'll probably take them, because I only have one left on the current one, so... Where do you guys find specific upgrades? I can't find the UOD3 tires for the Acteon. Hang on, do I have the Acteon here? I do. 
Is that these ones? Are these the tires you're looking for? I'm not exactly sure where they are. But what I can tell you is there's a website and uh, the website, if you go to Map Runner, you go to resources, you go to external links. There's two different ones, two different external link spots. There's one that's called 3D Maps and Snow Render. Click on that, click on Expeditions, click on whatever map you want, and you can find the upgrades on there. It does have the upgrades listed for tasks and contracts as well. So you can pretty much find whatever you want. Off-road tires, okay. Yeah, if you if you click around on there, you'll be able to find pretty much anything you want. Um, yeah, so I... I don't, can't exactly give you a good answer for that, where they are, because I don't know. Install cameras, no, I don't really care about that. Let's hit this upgrade, then hit this upgrade. I think it's over there somewhere. But yeah, I'm just, after a while, it seems like all of the uh, upgrades for the expeditions are done. So the first, like, 20-ish expeditions on both maps. They give you a bunch of uh, upgrades. And now I feel like I'm to the point where it's there's almost no upgrades left for expeditions. It's pretty much all tasks and contracts and on the map. So that's kind of what I'm doing now, is uh, driving around trying to find different upgrades that are on the map or from contracts or whatever. Uh, actually, let's use this. Doesn't let me. There we go. Got a little spot. Oh, come on. Uh, waiting for 2025, to be honest. Um, I'm on PlayStation, so not really any big games until then. Any recommendations? Well, I know uh, GTA 6 is supposed to be 2025. Can I go to my right? Yes, I can. Oh wait, the upgrade's to the left though. That is the upgrade? How on earth do you get, oh, get up from that side maybe? Okay. I think we'll have to come around to get that one. I think they're on Unshakable Island. Thank you, Ace. I'm still back and forth on getting the new Mudrunner Expeditions, or Expeditions of Mudrunner game. Yeah, I would say uh, just watch some more gameplay, Brandon. That's all you can really uh, really do to sort of come up with a, a definitive answer if you want to get it or not. I guess you could check reviews and see what other people are saying as well. But I think, uh, yeah, just watching it probably is going to be the best. Watching and maybe asking questions is probably the best thing you could do. Hang on a second, guys. My uh, nose is running. Alright, it's also probably a Venom game on PS5. Yeah, GTA 6 2025. I mean... I haven't really followed uh, games as far as, like, what's supposed to be coming out in the next couple of years. I don't... I wouldn't say I really play too many mainstream games anymore. I mean, I, I have some, but probably the last, like, big game that I bought was, like, uh... I'm trying to think. M maybe Halo Infinite? Probably? Like, the big mainstream kind of game. Oh, okay, I was looking for Map Runner, but didn't know that part of it. I'll check again. Yeah, it's actually not it's not Map Runner. It's there's a there's an, a person named uh, Naked Dave. He's a modder. He made like the mod for the uh, the Mac defense before the suspension got fixed by the devs. He fixed it and released a mod for it. Um, but yeah, he's got like uh, if, I don't know if you follow Nathan Province. I know Nathan's played some of his mods like he made Alaska without snow. And he made uh, Michigan with snow, stuff like that. So there's uh, some pretty, 
I think those ones would be kind of fun to just sort of play play everything as opposite. Because most of SnowRunner is not snowy. So it'd be kind of fun if you played it as opposite. Like all the snow maps would be not snow and all the non-snow maps, which is the majority, would be snow. Oh crap, I forgot to grab my... Oh no, I did. Never mind. It didn't let me deploy, so that's right. Okay, there should be an upgrade around here somewhere. No fly zone. Where am I? Right there. I think it might be back by that tree. It's hard to even see anything. Actually, here, let's look around quick. It's not showing up. It's so close. Oh, here we go. We can zoom out. Oh, okay, we found a climb, so I bet you the upgrade's up here somewhere. Maybe up here? So I thought it was back here in this little pit, but I bet you it's not. I bet you it's up there. There's a climb. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Looks like a dead end. No flight. That's kind of a bummer. I don't know why they do that. I think it's when you get close to the edge of the map that it does that, but still it's kind of a bummer. You can't fly it all over the, the map, you know? Like, I think as long as you don't go outside the map, you should be fine. Like, even if it gets close to the edge, they just put up a barrier at the end of the map. I don't know. Just my thoughts, I guess. Ooh, this looks like a pretty rough corner here. The rock slide. Okay, I'm not seeing the upgrade. I bet you it's up here to my right more. Mandarin Orange, hello. Welcome to the stream, Mandarin. Oh, here it is, yep. That's kind of what I thought. When I saw this uh, this hill here, I was like, I bet you it's further up there. Is SnowRunner multiplayer free on PC, or do you have to pay for it like consoles? No, it's free. That's one of the nice things about owning a PC. You don't have to pay for Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. You just got free live services for all games. Well, I shouldn't say for all games, I guess. There are some, like WoW, which uh, Zing here plays, which you gotta pay for. But pretty much all PC games you can play online without having any issues. Uh, like, you, they don't, you don't have to sign up for any kind of services or anything. It's one of the main perks of uh, PC. Alright, let's take that pull it out. Oh wow, that was like a perfect pull. Pulled myself just enough as I yanked it out. Alright, what do you guys think it is? Any any guesses? I mean, I guess some of you guys probably are checking the snow render right now. I'm gonna say a wheel set. Emergency reserves, okay, wrong. Oh, Lodestar, nice. Okay, I'll take it. Oh yeah, we gotta go back and get this one now. Actually, I might be able to get that with the Actian if I go around and then drop off the edge and go get it. That's probably closer. Let's do that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Also, my day was alright. Could have been better. Well, I mean, I guess I'll take that. My day could have been better as well but it could have been much worse, so, you know. Take what you can get, right? Could have won the lottery, but also...
could have been uh, sentenced and stuck in prison. Some, you know, something, something awesome or something terrible. Well, I guess I don't know if winning a lot would be awesome. I was just saying like an influx of money, I guess. But glad to hear you're doing, uh, doing all right. Uh oh. Uh oh, let's turn on the diff lock. Maybe we're pretty close to, to failing. There we go. All right. Do we have? Yes, we do. Okay. We have jack screws and we have anchor points. You guys know what that means. We're going cliff diving. Well, I shouldn't say exactly diving, but uh... Oh wait, I can't put it right by the edge? Oh, bummer. Alright, well I guess I'll go with right here. Attach a winch. Back of the truck. I gotta be honest, I would have rather been suspended than got sent to jail. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little better, doesn't it? Okay, now we're working our way down. Uh-oh. There we go. And we're down. That wasn't too bad. Is it worth buying on Series X? Reviews are not good. Yeah, the reviews are mixed on Steam as well. Which is like the, uh... Is there a different way down out of here? Different... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think they're mixed on Steam and probably pretty much everywhere I think they're mixed. I would say if you like scouting... I would Like, I wouldn't just say if you like snoring or get it, you know? Because it's a different game. But if you like scouting, there's probably a good chance you'll like it. It's, it's a lot of point A to point B stuff, but... So I'm, I'm not a huge person into scouting in SnowRunner, but I really like scouting on here. It's just different. So I would say be, be cautious maybe. And uh, if you have it on a uh, PC, like you can buy it on Steam and play it for two hours and then return it. So if you want to buy it, test it out, see if you like it, you might be able to return it. Um, there was somebody in my comment section today which said that they, they had bought the game on PlayStation and had a lot of bugs, and they reached out to PlayStation, said, you know, hey, this this game is not, not what I thought, something like that. And uh, they sent them some video of, like, a rock getting stuck under their truck, and just some, some other stuff. I don't know exactly what else. They, I don't remember what else they said. But basically, they were able to plead their case and get a refund, so you might be able to refund the game if you don't like it. But yeah, if you, if you do on Steam, for sure within the first two hours you can refund it. So. Lift kit, nice. Oh, the R87, okay. We already have the rock crawler, so that wasn't, wasn't a super, super big deal, but I'll take it, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna see... Actually, I know Calm only Calm. I know this is a... Uh, why does it keep going to that? I don't know why it keeps going back to that one, that's weird. Calm Only Calm was definitely a mission... Oh, really? We were just... Oh wait, that's the start of it, never mind. Oh wait, we could go to these two pretty easily, and probably that one actually. Let's do that. Let's switch back. Uh, but so, so overall, would I say it's worth it? Um, I mean, for me, it has been. Would I recommend it for a lot of other people? I said a, probably a week or two ago that if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like a... Maybe a 6.2 to 6.4. So like... I feel like it... I don't know, there's a lot of stuff wrong with the game, so maybe I wouldn't recommend it yet. Maybe later. But I'm having a lot of fun with the game, and so I, I don't feel like 
I should really discourage people from buying it. It's just more about being cautious of uh, sort of knowing what you're getting into, I guess. Because I feel like a lot of people went into it thinking it's going to be like SnowRunner and it's not and, you know, just ending up disappointed. Um, yeah, you can go to PlayStation as well and refund within a certain time. Okay. So you might be able to get it, test it out, see if you like it, maybe find out it's for you or not for you, and then refund it if you don't like it, or continue to play it if you do, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a really good change of pace from SnowRunner, because it actually makes scouting fun, in my opinion. I, I'm enjoying doing the missions, so... It's definitely not for everybody. Like I said, I'm personally I enjoy delivering cargo more, but it's sort of personal preference. Some people are definitely going to be the people who enjoy scouting more, and this game is definitely more of their uh, cup of tea, I guess you could say. To be honest. Um, through a Series X, though a Series X is powerful, as a console it would be fun and hopefully not laggy as long as you got good Wi-Fi. I would say before you buy it, check Xbox's refund policy. That's a great, great comment there, uh, Mandarin. Did he say an X? Oh, he did say Series X. Okay. So I, I have a Series X, but I don't have the game on Series X. I also don't have SnowRunner on Series X either. I have it on Xbox One. Okay, that's done. We got one more point to go to, which is here. We haven't used the Warthog at all. Uh, you got Steam, got PC, Steam, so I can try it before you buy it. Yeah, there you go. You can try it, and as long as you play it uh, less than two hours, you can refund it, pretty much no questions asked. I, th I think they do want you to like put a little bit of information if I, I've never re, I've never actually refunded a game but I think they want you to put a little bit of information but I'm not entirely sure visit the specified area why is it going all whack what the heck was that I thought I started the traces ones and I don't think I got this one but this one it also didn't let us get there was like nothing over there so I don't I don't know what's going on with that let's see tra hidden traces here you go Oh, hidden traces. This is different. It was just called traces. Is that on here? Task, maybe. Yeah, hidden traces. Huh. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll leave that for now. The Marshal. What is this one? Another surveillance? Camera traps. Don't want to do that. What is this? Climb. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find... What was the... I mean, I guess the... The act in here is the closest vehicle. Rocks above ground. That's also not too bad. Take some photographs. Oops. Here, here, and here. I already forgot where the other one was. Was it this? No, calm only calm. Crap. What was the name of the previous mission I was just tracking, guys? Where it was like right here somewhere. I guess either way. 
We'll just go back and start trying to get that. You just started the game? How are you liking it? Yeah, try it on PC. Oops, let's, uh, let's go down here. Try it on PC with the controller, it's more fun. Yeah, definitely, controller on PC is a lot of fun. It's basically like playing it on a system, but slightly, uh, slightly more power, I guess you could say. Yeah, we should be able to weave our way through there. Um, I play on Series X for the most part, and it's great. Okay. Looking forward to playing this game with a friend, as it looks fun. Dude, it looks like an awesome co-op game, for sure. Uh, so the UOD4s are... Wait, UOD4s on the AFIM are really good in Arizona, okay. Excellent rock rating, which means you don't have to do a lot of tire pressure. Very nice. I did the main five quests. Oops. I did the fi main five quests on the first map and can't go back. What did I do wrong? Um, I don't know. It, maybe you'd have to restart your game or something, but you should be able to go back. You can go Once you do a certain... There's always a certain mission you can do that unlocks free roam on every map. You don't have to 100% the map, but um, if you do like, not even 100%, um, you don't have to do all the expeditions even. If you do a certain expedition, it's usually like four or five in, then you can unlock uh, free roam on that map. So you should have free roam unlocked. I don't know why I wouldn't let you go there. That seems odd. All right, let's refuel here. Fix up the truck a little bit. Yeah, so I think we'll try and knock out this one and one more, the one we had one location left. So we'll go to these three locations, one more location, and then we'll probably call it from there. I think the last one was somewhere around here, but... Oh, uh, I don't remember what the... Uh... Actually, hang on a second. I'm gonna pop open the binoculars, because I've, I've been here before, but... I don't think I looked around, so... I hate how slow it is to look around, though. There we go. That should give us a good chunk of it revealed. Yeah, now we got a couple of spots where we can't see, but much better. Just one second, though. Let me see if I can find... So, looking for water, that's... Wait. Sonoran, does, why did it auto-track some random quest? Okay, rocks above ground. Rocks above ground's the one we're doing. Take three photos, that's fine. That's more photos, no. No, it was visiting three places. Okay, must be further down, so... Wait, what was that one? Rocks? Sorry, guys. Whatever, I guess I'll just do this one and we'll come back. I don't feel like messing around too much. I uh, did the... Oh, uh, you can free roam, but once the expedition are done, you can't do them over. Yeah, that's, uh, maybe that's... Maybe that's what he meant. He completed the missions, but he can't drive around much. Can't... can't go back and do them. Once you complete them, they're done. You can free roam, but you can't, um... Yeah, you can't go back and do the expedition again. You can go to a free roam and then drive around and do the tasks and contracts if you want and find upgrades and stuff. Snowrunner was amazing, or excuse me, Mudrunner was amazing. Snowrunner liked it but wasn't for me, got it for PC also. So you're gonna try it. Okay, so you've, you've been playing for quite a while if you, you were playing in the Mudrunner, that's like 2017. 
I think I'm gonna start streaming. I'll go and set up some software. Yeah, there's there's probably a bunch of different softwares out there, but uh, pretty much everybody that I know uses OBS. I think Zing uses it. Uh, I know Wildfox uses it. Telemenis uses it. I mean, I'm, it's like the most popular one. It's I know Alderar uses it as well. So pretty much every every person I know that streams uses that software. I'm not saying it's the only one out there that's or the best one out there, but it's the most popular and probably the easiest to find help on because there's a lot of people who use it. So that would be my recommendation. If I had to give you one, I know you didn't ask, but you got it anyways. Oh man, that thing sent us right back down. Okay, take a photo. There we go, one down. OBS, yes. Almost downloaded, very nice. Would somebody mind going back like 10, maybe 15 minutes on the stream and see what the name of the mission I was doing? I know there was a, one last point I had to, to visit, and I don't remember what it's called, it's just to uh, hopefully save me some time. I know it was like right up in front of me somewhere, it should be like on that hill. But yeah, I have to go back through all the missions to find out where it is. Or what the name of it was, just to it's somewhere right in this area, I remember that. So if somebody wouldn't mind. I kind of assumed it was that. There we go. Let's skip some time. One last place to go visit. Well, actually we got this place and then one more we're gonna visit. So this place, and then if we can find the mission that I was trying to track earlier, or that I was tracking earlier, the one from like 10-15 minutes ago, we'll finish that one off because that one's got one spot to go over here somewhere. Oh hey, we also got the binocular thing in this area. Let's see if we can get that. There's supposed to be one that we missed somewhere as well. So I don't see the blue zone over there. Almost out of storage, 160 gigs out of 5 terabytes. Yikes, that's no good. Okay, they got UOD2 tires, that's nice. No idea what that was for. Calm only calm, but I don't know what truck it was for is what I mean. That's another thing that kind of drives me nuts. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to quickly look at the tasks, so rocks above ground is the one that I want to do. So that's Grand Canyon, these are probably all Grand Canyon here. Okay, Sonoran Desert. Coconino. Okay. Jeez, that one's got a lot of stuff. Um...
God, I wish they were much easier to track. This is annoying. That's Grand Canyon stuff. Grand Canyon. Sonoran. Sonoran. Yeah, I need to get some games deleted. You have 1,356 games. Yeah, that's way too much. Calm only calm, maybe. No, I did that one. There was like a... It was visit someplace, and it was like right here on this mountain somewhere. Right in this cor this area. So I don't want to drive away to that one and then have to drive back, although I could. But I, t I still don't know what the name of it was. Because it was visiting three places. Wait, follow the route. Is that it? Nope. Is it available for Xbox X or S yet for digital download? I'm not sure. I think so. I had to stop making videos because I got so far behind. I'm an over-the-road truck driver, and it's nearly impossible to upload when I'm away from home. Yeah, I hear you, Ace. Alright, I guess we're just gonna literally click through these one at a time. Actually, maybe if I finish this, maybe it'll auto-track or something. So I guess we will come back. But yeah, Ace, you would have to like, you'd have to like knock all your stuff out and get it all uploaded and like finished. Or, I mean, I guess you could, you could do like the tag, tags and title and description and stuff like that on the road, but you'd have to like complete your thumbnail, or I suppose you could do that on a phone as well, but you'd have to, well, I suppose you could do all of it on a phone to be honest, but it would just be a lot harder if you're on the road without Wi-Fi or good connection, you'd have to like have a laptop or something that could bring it with you to be able to uh, edit the videos and stuff, make it easier. But I suppose you really could do it all on your phone if you really wanted. But I, I hear what you're saying, yeah, it definitely makes it much tougher. Because you got, you know, a couple of days at home maybe, but then you're on the road for a week and then back for a couple of days or whatever. Why am I stuck? There we go. Somehow got really turned around in there, but we're good. Hey, Space Games Network. Sorry to hear that, man. It's, uh, is there a way that you can take your rig with when you're on the road and upload Let's Plays or something. Okay, we gotta track the... Something about rocks. Rocks, there we go. Yeah, hopefully it tracks the one that we were doing before, because we did two out of the three zones. We got one more to go to. Okay, what would we take a picture of that, maybe? No? Oh, there we go. Okay, it did not auto-track. That's a bummer. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna open it up on my phone because I don't feel like uh, trying to find it. Take this. So let me... Uh, 
Alright, so my phone's loading up my stream. I'm gonna go back and find out which one exactly I had to go to. Because it was somewhere around here. Hey, you made it, Artem. Yeah, we're just about done here. I'm actually loading up my stream on my phone to check. I was tracking a mission in the... Oh, is this it? Oh, it's Coconino. And I switched to a different one. So that's Grand Canyon. Sonoran. Wait, what is Rare Fish? Coconino. Grand Canyon. That's again Sonoran. Visit the specified area. Oh, this is not it. This is a different one. Oh, it's Coconino again. Collect lost cargo, not that one. Yeah, no, I don't remember what the name of the mission was. Proof of Strength, I think that's it. Let's see if we can find that one. What? Where did it go? That's weird. Okay, dried up gorge, photo hunting, lost cargo, shooting wild, air delivery. That's all of them in this one. I literally have all of them on one list here. So again, Coco Nino. Oops. Two in Coco Nino. This one's here, but it's the wrong stuff. Sonoran. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon again. Coconino. Grand Canyon. Okay, so it's got to be Hidden Traces in Waweep. No, it was on this map. I hit two of the three zones. And the third zone is like right in here somewhere. It's like somewhere in this area. Okay. That's Grand Canyon. I would just quit out, but I know if you quit out, you have to restart it, and I don't want to restart it. So it's not that. It's not that. Not that. Some of them it doesn't let you track, which is kind of odd. Like, why would it let you track some of them, but not the other ones? That's Sonoran. 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 A lot of Sonorans in here. Oops, sorry. Dang it. Don't know where I was exactly. Okay, so cleanup protocol, another surveillance. Hidden traces. That's Coconino. Maybe it did finish. Maybe I just missed it. Because now we're now they're all in Coconino. What the heck? There's supposed to be another one here. I'm probably gonna have to redo it, but whatever. How many weeks has it been since 
phase 12. Let me see. Phase 12 came out, was it January 28th? I think that was the date. So about a month and a half. Something like that. Yeah, I have my laptop, but I usually have like 20 videos each time I get home. Oh, wow. Alright, well, I, I guess I'll probably just have to redo it. I can't find it. So, whatever. Let's uh, go back to the headquarters. So we got 52,000 for that one. Sold some anchors and stuff for about 10k. Let's see. It'd be kind of cool. <coughs> Excuse me. It would be kind of cool if it had a price next to these. Yeah, new PTS should be released about the end of the month, actually, uh, Artem. I'm going to make a video on it tonight. So, like, if it said, like, these three anchors are worth this price, these two jack screws are worth this, the one's worth this, as a reusable anchor, it'd be kind of cool to see the prices. But, alright, well, I guess 52000 that is it. To be honest, I have no idea what it was. It, it might have been um, calm only calm like Ringo said, but I I don't think it was that one, but whatever, I guess. The ones you can't track, I dri drove over the trigger. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wow, look at my money. Six, one, one, six, six, six. Sixes and ones. Okay, so we have free roam, we have free roam, free roam, free roam, nice. Got free roam here, got free roam here, here. Okay, cool, yeah, we got free roam in all of them. Let's see, Unshakable Island, you said it was... No, I think it's Mountain Labyrinth. Was it this one? I forgot which one you said sucked. Somebody was in here earlier saying it was really... One was one of them was really bad. I don't remember what the name of the mission was either. Anyways. Oh, Glamour Shots. There it was. Top. This one? No, that one wasn't the hardest one for me, but... Um... Season 12 Snorter came out January 31st. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, I knew it was the end of January. Any usuals like Panda, Tank, Spoon? Spoon was here for a bit, but uh, Tank and Panda have not been. Sometimes you can only track if you have a specialist. The description doesn't tell you. I have heard that, Zeb, but I haven't ran across it myself, actually. Okay, how soon till Season 13? I would say two months. Yeah, two months. Usually PTS is six, six weeks long, so that answers uh, Artem's question. How long does PTS go for? The last four of them have been six weeks, almost exactly. So, six weeks of PTS, and then that'll launch, but PTS is about two weeks out, so that's putting it out about two months from today. So if I had to guess, we're looking at the middle of May when Season 13 drops. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for today's video, guys. Let's check our total percentage. And you think you missed a bit of that talk? Yeah. Okay, we're at 40% total now. Not too bad. Could be better, could be worse. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. Um, I will be making a video about SnowRunner Season 13, some of the information that's come out over the last like two weeks or so, but I mean, it's been out for a bit, so some of you guys might have seen it, but yeah, if not, uh, I'll just tell you whatever information Esarokin has uh, given to us, so that'll be out tomorrow, about 7 a.m. my time, so what's that, 14-ish, 13 and a half from now, something like that. Thanks, JJ, it has been, an, has been an enjoyable stream. Well, thank you for being here, Mateo, appreciate the support, glad you enjoyed it. Um, have a good night, Mateo, Artem, Zeb, Gnome Power, Brandon, Ace Plays. I'm um, just scrolling up through the chat here. 
Korang, Ringo, Mandarin, LT Army, Zing, and Below Average Gamer. Everybody else that I missed as well. Belt Fed. Everybody. Dosidania, yeah. I don't know what that means, but I've heard, uh, heard it said in Russian quite a bit. Dosidania. Alright, have a good night everybody, and see you tomorrow for the last Expedition stream of the week.